here to check out uh, what's hot this week. And one of the big releases is Roller Champions, which is Ubisoft's free to play uh, game. It's kind of like roller derby meets like basketball. I don't know how you describe it, but I'm going to I'm going to call it bless and see if we can get uh, his sound coming in here. And I think he's going to be running through desktop audio for me. So I think that should work. I'm calling him. We'll see if he answers. I guess I didn't actually. Oh, hi. That's horrifying. Hello. Hey, um, chat, let me know if you can hear Blessing. And I really hope the answer is yes, because if it's not, I have to do more work. So. Sure. No, that's so sad. Okay, let me think of how to do this. So I think I'm just going to set up some stuff. But yeah. Audio, maybe output capture. Ooh, I might be almost there. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. I need to get my story. Okay. Um, try it to talk now, bless. Hello, hello, chat. Can you hear me? Can you hear okay. me? Can you hear me? All right. I think they can hear you now, but let me know in the chat. People said bless. Okay. Is that like bless okay. I hear you or bless I just want to say your name? Okay. People, people hear you. Uh, can you talk again so I can get your levels down? Hello, hello. I forget if we said if we're co-streaming or not. I we can co-stream. I'm good either with either one. So if you want to set up on your end, I'm totally into that. Let me totally check to see that. if there's anything going on in the kind of funny calendar. Because I don't want to stream if we have content happening. Sure, sure. Let me see. Well, we're, I think we're doing a Patreon recording of Yeah, yeah. I'll um, just be off mic. I'll be off mic. Or not off mic, sorry. I'm not, I'm just, I'll just not stream. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I don't like to stream during workouts. Because yeah. I feel like I'm like competing with our own content you know, i do i, I kind of like, get that that happened I don't to, want to me Tim the, to bring the hammer down on me you know that happened to me the other day with like me and greg's usc thing where like i went live like right while that was still going and it was like i was weirdly competing with myself and i don't like it um mm. so i get it i get it um cool are you like set up already i mean we were just yeah i just sent you an invite i forget if you've played this yet i have not played it yet uh let me look okay you're gonna have a tutorial you. to go through oh yay <laughs> okay also i gotta switch over what I gotta switch over my screen. So I don't like doing the pop out display for OBS. I just like changing my monitor completely. Um, but what's up, chat? I do see y'all here. How's it going? I can also see if I can find a third if you want a third. Cause like it's like a yeah, I feel like yeah, Robo yeah. Champions is very much like a team sport. Yeah, yeah. And like if we're all able to communicate, the question is who can be unless you. I think you might have said you're playing with you're gonna play somebody from uh, from chat, right? I would like to we but i didn't set anything up yet so we'll see i don't know if anyone okay. if anyone's around to hang out definitely just do a highlighted message or something i can make sure i catch it um how long is the tutorial uh probably like what six minutes okay that's not bad don't says yeah. i've never played fortnite ever you should i think everyone who plays games should at least try fortnite once um also let me know chat if the audio is wonky or whatever okay Oh, I gotta make my character. Okay, this is the next two hours. Just give me a quick couple hours to make this character. I mean, the character creator is not expensive. You're gonna yeah. be creating creation in like a minute and a half. Uh, what are your thoughts on Chance the Rapper, by the way? Um, I think I really like Chance. I don't didn't like the big day, like most people. Ooh, is the game crossplay? I, Bless, do you know if this is crossplay? I don't think it is. I think it does like matchmaking when you like go into a quick game. I think it turns crossplay then, but I don't think you can party up crossplay with people. I don't love the skin tone selection in here. I'm not gonna yeah, front. Yeah, it's not great. I all feel of, like all, honestly, all the character creation stuff selection wise is pretty bad. This is I hate playing like they don't have my skin tone. So whose skin tone do I just choose? I don't like playing that game. Oh yeah, it is the game I'm playing now. Um. This is like on the census when they don't count Latino, and then I'm like, I'm not not white. I don't know what uh, what do I put here. Um, let's Ooh, see, eyebrows. Just the. Mm, sure. Okay, I'm small. Probably that one. Well, that's probably more accurate. Now the reason I asked about Chance the Rapper is because yeah, yeah. he put out a new song. Uh, on Spotify. It's a minute long. Apparently he wrote it in 10 minutes. And it's called A Bar About a Bar. And it's just okay. him doing like a quick like you know when you like in high school or like when you went to like uh, spoken word like poetry clubs or whatever and you do writing exercises. 
he basically was like okay cool you're, i'm gonna make a song in 10 minutes or whatever and like it's him basically doing like a verse rapping about like oh this is a bar about a guy at a bar and like kind of like tells a, a quick oh, story in like 16 bars or whatever and it made me realize how much i love chance the rapper but also like how much i need him to put Welcome out an album that people love again cuz yeah people was your hated the big perfect. day did you like the big day i liked it i thought it was fine i definitely think it's not as hot good as shower. any of his other albums is that hot to you or you don't like it no i, I mean hot shower i don't think it was the worst. I, people treat it like it, usually when people talk about how much they hate the big day hot shower is usually the go to of like oh yeah it, big day is terrible listen to this it's the worst song ever and i'm like yeah the song's not good but it's not like an abomination of song. I, I think definitely it's think like, it's like a, you, you got to be in the right mood for that kind of. It's it's yeah, not great, but yeah, it's not, it's like not I don't, terrible. I don't hate it, but it's not necessarily like I don't purposely listen to it. But like I also think that there are plenty of songs in the album that are great. Like there's there are honestly songs in the album that I still listen to this day. Um, like some of my favorite Chance songs might actually be on the big day. Because um, he has um, uh, there's a song on there called Five Year Plan. And like I, here's a here's the other thing I'll say. The album hit. I might I might. Hold me back because I, I could possibly go on a rant about the Big Day, actually. No, go for it. Yeah. So, Big Day came out in 2019. I had already been told that I'm... Um, actually, I forget if it was. I had already been told I, was, I got the job for Kind of Funny. But, like, a lot of the album I was listening to in the lead-up of, like, me preparing my move to SF and, like, working mm-hmm. Kind of Funny. So, like, songs like you Five Year Plan really hit. Game, because that yeah. song is all about how, like, champion. you know, you like, opportunity and, like, preparation and, like, looking forward to the so future and all this shit, right? That song really start. hit for me. Uh, there's a right. song on there called We Go High uh, that I really now. love. Um, that is the, that's the one that samples, like, the, oh, love you, God, like, that mm-hmm. theme. And then also, I think there might be a uh, um, Zelda Ocarina uh navi sample in there um which he says like hey listen when she says in the high-pitched voice i think he's oh, yeah. that in there too um i really like that song and i think he gets in his bag a bit in there uh get a bag is a song that i, I replay all the time uh it's really catchy um this sun come so down i love uh, there are like a lo- quite a few songs back, on this album that i actually really really really, really like and then a lot of them where i'm like i'm i feel indifferent to you know, I think it's too, definitely... like, that album kind of got slacked, especially with, like, Needle Drop's review of that album, which is, like, that's infamously the... harsh. Um, that's the thing is, like, I also am not a big Needle Drop fan. Oh, I am a Needle Drop fan. Yeah, I feel like he has, and it's not, it's not his fault, but I feel like, one, he has too much influence on the way people... Yeah, like, there's like the joke music. of like I don't I don't know what I think of this uh, album because Neil Drop hasn't put out his uh, review yet. Yeah, and it's the most annoying thing to me because I'm like, I feel like he ends up being like the final say on if something's good or not. Like if he didn't have a chance the Big Day review, I yeah. don't think people would be as harsh on the Big Day. But I think he's one of the big reasons why people are so. But much. isn't that like true of like I mean, how do you feel about you maybe being that person for like a lot of people? I, I would say people should stop being a sheep. You know, don't l- let my don't opinion influence you. Yeah. But uh, don't listen to me. But also, here's the other thing, right? I also don't like that he is a Congrats. white man that has you so much influence to help. No, to that's receive, absolutely yeah. I mean, black you, art. It definitely. Um, let's see. Trigger complete. Leave. Stay. Leave. Right? Because then I can do the game. Okay. That's definitely like a. I mean, a problem, right? Like I feel like, and that's not to say that he's you know not allowed to do his stuff. And like I like his work, but. You see that in a lot of spaces um, where, like, a lot of the journalists, too, that, like, do, like, you know, sports or basketball coverage, like, they're not people of color. They're not black. Like, it's a very, like, it's very telling that, like, a lot of these industries are dominated by white voices, regardless of who actually does the work to make the content to do the analysis. So, yeah, it's just yeah. one of those things. And, like, and, 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 you know, I think he does... I, I disagree with Needle Drop a lot of, yeah. of, of the time, but I do think he does good analysis, right? Yeah, like, I, I like his analysis a lot. Uh, Tour yeah. in the chat also says that loves Needle Drop, but not the end all be all. Yeah, I definitely, like, I've liked albums that Fantano doesn't like. I mean, Fantano's very harsh, too. Like, not to say that he's wrong, but, like, his bar is a lot higher than mine. Um, so, like, that's fine by me. Like, I don't, I'm just here to, you know, listen to music. Yeah, and, like, I think he oftentimes will come at um, albums from a different angle than I would, right? Like, what I, like, I respect and appreciate his analysis, but then also, when it, when it, especially when it comes to hip-hop and rap, right, which is inherently back to the bl- uh, black culture, right. like, there are certain albums I'll listen to where culturally, I feel like, they have way more um, reach and range, but beyond what he's talking about in terms of the technical aspects of how you make a good song and all this stuff. And so for right. me, like, one of the things, and this is now separate from Fantano because I'm, I've, I've not actually like gone and watched his review of the Big Day, um, 
Big Big Day gets a lot of flack for the subject matter, and it drives me insane because so much of the subject matter of the Big Day is him talking about marriage and talking about like how much he loves his wife. I love my wife. I love yeah. Yeah, like there's the yeah there's like the meme of like you know I love my like the I love I love my wife song, and it frustrates me so much because like in black you love your culture, wife. well one he loves his wife, but then in, in black culture I like very often I feel like it's it's look down upon to like treat your marriage uh, and and this is from like the specific like the rap, rap culture sure. aspect of it right like a rapper talking about how much he appreciates his wife and loves his marriage and like is like thinking about making a family and all this stuff right i i feel like that it that should be way more of a oh shit let's fucking go kind of thing as opposed to like a oh here's a bunch of internet nerds fucking making fun of chance the rapper for loving his marriage it's yeah. like, dude, do you know how often in black culture where like people do people don't get good examples of great marriages in their lives uh, because of, like how often like you know divorce or like um, single single uh, parent households and all this all all these things are such a common thing, right. right? Like I feel like for the big day to really embrace that and for that to be the thing, thing people pick it apart for the most, and I know a majority of those people are white people. That's the thing that bothers me when it comes mm-hmm. to the big day critique. Yeah, for sure, it's definitely fair. Yeah. And it's also like uh, I was talking to my, my I can rant about this for days because there's a thing I've sat and thought about and that's I've, that I've not been able to reconcile that frustrates frustrates me. There's like a meme ability too when it comes to black people that I don't appreciate as well. Mm-hmm. Where I feel like if a non hip hop artist made the same album, it wouldn't get memed to death as much as it is with Chance the Rapper. And like you see it happen with like I feel like so many black black celebrities who are uh, like who basically step out of the view of what society slash oftentimes white audiences view as what blackness should be. When you step out of that, automatically you get memed to death. Like, I feel like, yeah. I feel like that happens to Steve Harvey all the time. That happens to like, that happens to change the rapper, right? Like I would say that probably happens to Donald Glover quite a bit too. Like you, a lot of the times when black celebrities step outside that range, they get made fun of. And it's a thing that, that frustrates me as well. Yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, the, someone the said, big "Damn, right. uh, blesses niggas some points." Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm not. Keep, I don't keep as much with chat whenever I have someone to also talk to. But um, yeah, so Rebecca June says, "Chance is a joyful Christian, and it rubs people the wrong way." I think too, like there's a middle ground as well. I feel like this is definitely not to say that you can't have critiques, but I think it is also like you're mentioning important to acknowledge the the lens and biases you have when approaching that criticism, um, and to think about you know all the elements that go into it. But yeah, I mean, we'll see what his next album is. I'm definitely down for like a new project from Chance, but also like it was weird because when the big day dropped, even like, you know, damn, you have like a whole fit on. Oh yeah. Hold on. I am like, walk me through what I'm looking at here. I I bought an outfit Uh, and here's the thing, right? Like with real money? With the premium currency, yes, but I got it from Ubisoft. Like okay. uh, a friend from Ubisoft gave okay, me some okay. of the. They're called wheels, but wheels to spend. And so, I pretty much like yeah, got a premium outfit. That was very expensive too. A lot of wheels went into this thing. Yeah, that's like that's a lot. Okay, cool. So yeah, what happens that, now? Uh, the uh, you go you go to play and you click click a uh, quick game. Okay. All that said, though, like all I think, I, so much of the critique for the Big Day is valid. I don't want to like say oh, yeah. all that and act like the Big Day is a gr- is the greatest album because again, I think it's his worst album. Um, but I also don't think it's like one of the worst albums of all time. I think it's very listenable. Like if I had to give it a score, I would give it like a six point five out of ten. I don't know. I don't. See my, I don't come back to it very often. But maybe that's just because it's been. Um, it definitely has been like cold, like sour. Do you know what I mean? But. Also, yeah. too, remember that Starbucks thing Chance did? That was really bad. Now, that was terrible. Right? What was with that? Also, like, did you do anything else? I don't know what that was. Uh, did you click a uh, quick game? Yeah, hit click. You know what? It has a lock on it. It's because I have to do like the other tutorial. I thought I just did the tutorial. Hmm. Try going to my name and promoting me. Like, okay. you can come back to cool, the name. Cool, I promoted you. you. Okay. Because sometimes the game can be buggy. Where it won't let you start a quick match. Yeah, because it has a lock icon. I wonder, is it because I have to do the tutorial? I thought I just did the tutorial, though. Like when I, I think it's it up. just broken. Because okay, ha- okay. it happens all the time. Um, I'm searching now. It's like 10 sure. seconds. In. Um, okay, cool. If not, maybe we just back out of the whole game and then come back in or something. 
All right, I just entered a loading screen. Okay, yeah, me too. Oh, mm. it, just, it just aired out. Classic. I'll send you another invite. See, that's the thing that happens. The game is not, it doesn't have great, um, uh, like, it doesn't run smoothly with the network stuff. Yeah, I really loved, uh, you know, Coloring Book, as people were mentioning in chat. And it's funny, because, like, with, um, you know, one time I was listening to um, Lupe Fiasco, like, in my kitchen. Like, I was listening to The Cool, because I was in the mood for it. And my boyfriend was like, oh, is this just, like, a random playlist you have on? I was like, no, I put this album on. He's like, oh, I didn't know you liked Lupe Fiasco. I'm like, I'm from Chicago. I feel like we liked everybody that came up yeah. through Chicago. Like, and yes. Lupe, Lupe's good. Like, Lupe's good. Common's good. Like, the people I, I like from Chicago, I think, legitimately are good. But I think Chicago's put out some of the best like rap artists at, the same at least time, of like, the era like of the 2000s era yeah sure. like you know kanye common um yep. i almost said kanye again for some reason chance like lupe chance lupe um on really small stuff i like um i like uh you know, saba as well i think believe chicago as well joseph Chilliam, saba, saba. i think he is he at least rolls yeah. it thanks for the sub y'all um I, I really like the even though i made the alert but i mean the alert is uh, my cat i think it's really good um, yeah, I'm gonna double Twist check is now. From Chicago too. Saba Pivot. Juice World was from Chicago too. Uh, like no. This is not the right way to go Google this. I put Saba. Yeah, West Side Chicago. Okay, I was 99 percent sure because he his whole crew like like the Pivot Gang crew is all like Chicago. So. And Chicago also has like I, th what, I think Chief Keef was Chicago. I think I so correctly. too. Chief Keef, I'm not as big a fan of, but you know, there's an awareness. There. Same here, but like he was very like influential. Big Mensa, yeah, that's another one. Vic Mensa is somebody who I wish I got into more. But I, I didn't spend too much time with Vic Mensa either. I, I didn't dig a lot of Vic Mensa stuff beyond like some of the hits and features. No, I will say I, I do enjoy because Shifki, that's Don't Like, right? Am I, am I mixing yeah. that up? That song no, is right. great. That song is very oh, enjoyable. Yeah. Okay, so now we're, he, we're in it, right? We're just like. Now we're in it. Now yes. it's for real. So the ball's going to drop. Okay. Um, go for it if you can get it. Oh. All right. Ooh, I'm, I'm about to get it. So once we get it, right, we need to make okay. a loop around. Okay. We need to hit all the checkpoints going counterclockwise. I'm going to pass it forward to you. Okay. Um, oh, when I'm behind you, is that if bad? You, if, you, if you can get ahead of me, actually, I'll pass it forward to you. Okay, I'm actually, trying to Dance like... Master, so I'm going to pass okay. it forward to Dance Master. He's going to try and shoot it, I think. Oh, and then he sh oh, he missed it. This does kind of remind me of Rocket League with like the ball focus element. Yeah. So okay, blue got on. it, which means the checkpoints reset, and they have to go. Okay, they cool. have to basically take it around the checkpoints to right. score the goal. Okay. Oh, the ball's loose. Yeah, I just tackled. So yeah, you tackle them to loosen the ball. Okay, but now Dance Master has the ball, right? Okay, yeah. cool. Thank you. I'm gonna pass it forward to you. Okay. Get a shot. Uh, sure. If you press triangle, I think you had to call for it. I'm hitting triangle. It didn't. It didn't go. It's because I'm not in the like head or oh, something. Oh, it's because I didn't even have the ball. Never mind. Oh. So I hit the checkpoint. I'm going to come back around. Okay, okay. I just threw it forward. It's going to be loose. If you want okay. to pick it up. Okay, one, the dance master got it. All right, hopefully they shoot it. So does it not auto, um, like, toss to, like, a person? I if you click triangle, it. it will. Also, uh, our guy is really bad at shooting. Hold on. I can't judge too much because I probably am also really bad. All right, I got what it. does spare mean? Uh, it means he knocked out two of them in the row. I will say too, not gonna lie, I do have a bit of uh, occasional like that lag that where it's like it skips ahead in time. I do have that. Oh, you have so, that. Okay. Yeah. Um, but for clarity, I was gonna be bad either way. But I do want to mention that that does happen sometimes. All right, right now we're in the lead. The team we're yeah. facing seems like they're a similar level. Yeah, I mean it's also like the game just came out, so I imagine. Pass the four to you. You have oh, it. Shoot, I threw it, I think, by accident. Oh, you did, yeah. Is it triangle then to also throw? Uh, triangle, if you are near a teammate, it'll, yeah, magnetize throw to them. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot oh, going dude. on. I will say. Yeah, I need a second. Yeah, I see you on the ground. Dance Master got it back though, toss it to you. There is something nice about not doing this for like a freaking preview event. <laughs> like that was a lot. That was a lot of Oh yeah. 
I had just started IGN too when I like had that task. Um, so it was like kind of crazy like seeing like all these people that I know from Twitter who I like really respect being like smashed up with them and I'm like, mm, I'm not gonna be good at this game. And then they're also like, yeah, it's fine because no one, we just got this game like 10 seconds ago. Like we didn't know this game existed until 10 seconds before this. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of this game. Yeah, you're absolutely carrying this entire <laughs> production. Yeah, for everyone watching, I'm the one in the purple jacket, and Bless is the one with the shirt that says new. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I feel like that cosmetic's pretty pretty dope that you have there. I, li I, I, I like it. It was like, but it's one of those things where, because I, I, I went on the rant about the cosmetics. Right, right, right. On PS Love You. Uh... And like, I think I just wish there was like more cosmetics with like almost like an ethos around it, where it's like, oh man, I right, want to, right. I need to get that thing. Like, and you tell your friends, so like, y'all need to get enough deals to get like that kind. Because this is the thing that just appeared in the shop for like a lot of premium currency, and I was like, well, I have this currency anyway. Let me spend probably like twenty bucks or whatever the fuck to get it, which is an asinine amount of money. <laughs> Yeah, that would be a lot. So I just passed it to Dance Master. Okay. Like, I don't know if you can earn this cosmetic just by playing the game. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. I just dropped it. I got it back. Damn, we might need to go ranked. I have to make balloon. But couldn't we not go ranked? Because I'm just, I just started. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah, you, just, you, need, you need to do 10 minutes. take the lowest person, yeah. I don't know. I don't think the lagginess is the game, right? Do you have lag? Are you like hardwired in? Uh, I'm hardwired in, and I don't have lag. I yesterday I did feel like the game was. Oh, I finally have the ball. Lag. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, keep going counterclockwise. There you go. Yeah, you just passed. Okay. Nice. Okay. Good. Cool. Cool. Okay. My first thing that I did. <laughs> finally. Yeah, and like, oh. admitted, admittedly, I'm not hardwired in. I know people are like, you gotta hardwire in, but I've had times where I hardwire in and it doesn't help, so um, I just kind of don't do it as much. I also yeah, feel like, me, I like I've had to, by default, just wire in. I feel like I shouldn't, ha I don't wanna, I don't wanna hardwire. I, don't, I feel like I shouldn't have really? to hardwire. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't have to. I think it should uh, run Ameri fine. American internet just sucks. I feel, that's what I mean. Like, it's like, I feel like I should just be able to, to do it the way I am. And also, I'm, I'm literally right next to the Wi Fi router here. Maybe that's why it doesn't end up helping. Um, All right, so we just won because we got five points. You always got a hardwire. I know, but like, I feel like I shouldn't have to. Like, I don't want a hardwire. I don't want to live that life. I bring the whole cable across the whole room and everything. So I put out my tweet saying Adrian Holmes should be Kratos. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've had multiple people reply and give me a picture of basketball players that they think would make a better Kratos. And my mind is, is like... Oh, having God. a hard time understanding <laughs> people's opinions. I... <coughs> Who are these people? Is the question. <laughs> yeah, like, one of the people were like, oh, man, I... He, he wouldn't be tall enough. We need somebody who's tall, and Kratos doesn't talk enough, so you don't need somebody who's, like, the best at acting. Make basketball player... It's like LeBron <laughs> like, James. Yeah. Like, somebody rep rep responded with a picture of... Hold on, let me see if I can pull it up. You know what? Maybe I will hardwire. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk away and see if I have an extra Wi-Fi thing to pull in here. Or the Ethernet cable. That's the name for it. Oh, uh, you know what? One of the people responded as actually a clapback to somebody else. Cause somebody was like, "Kratos is supposed to be Greek. He should be played by a Greek actor." And then somebody responded with, "I think it's Antetokounmpo. I think is he Greek? It might be him. One Hold of the on, Greek I, like, players I who's also didn't hear black. the last like two sentences you said." <laughs> Uh, somebody was basically responding back to somebody else who was like, "Mr. Uh, there's somebody in my chat or my in my replies that was like, Kratos is supposed to be Greek, so he should play by, be played by a Greek actor. Somebody replied to that person and said, what about this guy? And it's a picture of a basketball player who I think is Greek, but also black. I think it's a uh, chat. Let me know if it's Antetokounmpo, because I, I don't keep up with basketball players, so I don't know which ones are the... Yeah, someone said that. Greek yep. Greek. Literally, okay. immediately. He's known as the Greek Freak. 
This is their words, not mine. I don't know. I can't speak to the authenticity of that <laughs> that, that uh, lineup. Basically, it ended up just being a clapback. They weren't seriously replying. Yeah, yeah. There was somebody else who was, though, in my replies. I was seriously implying a basketball it's like, player. It's true. <laughs> oh, they don't have to be good at acting. Well, I mean, look, LeBron and Space Jam, you know, choices were made, right? Like, I don't know. What are you going to do? I'm going to out. Oh, here it is. Somebody, uh, they said, I think he's too short for Kratos. It needs to be a strong, seven foot tall black dude who's not squeamish about being painted white. Doesn't have to be a great actor as Kratos barely talks. A basketball player like Kevin Garnett would look good. No. They said Kevin Garnett should be Kratos. No. So wasn't he in, um, was he the guy who was in Uncut Gems? He was in Uncut Gems, yeah. Okay, he snapped though in Uncut yeah. Gems, but I don't think he should be Kratos. He was pretty good, but oh, I don't think he should be Steve's in the chat. What's good? What's good, Steve? Les is here. I should mention that you're here also before people are like, who's talking? Um, yeah, hold on. I feel like everyone knows who you are, Blessing. It's fine. I'm a, I'm an underground podcaster. Oh, here's the question. How often, uh, no, so can you be the one to start it? Because I feel like it won't let me for some reason. Oh, it's looking right now. Okay, cool. Um, also, when I uh, put in an ethernet cable, it automatically will switch off, me off Wi-Fi, right? Or am I, do I have to do something else? It should automatically do it. Though, like, I think okay. for like a half second, it might take you offline, so you might get kicked, kicked from the party. Okay, I did I already plugged it in like like a minute ago, so we'll oh, see. Oh, then I think you should be fine. Um, Mr. Forbes, people are calling you in chat, Mr. Forbes, Mr. Thirty Under Thirty. It's the same difference, right? Okay. Yeah. Thirty Under Thirty. Yeah, um, Forbes, yeah, same thing. Game what was Awards, it? Future Class. Yeah, Future Class. Uh, that's the most of it, right? Pretty much. There's yeah, a, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do this okay year. The OK Beast or whatever. Yeah, what's your, here's a question for you. Um, mm. Also, feel free not to answer these questions because we're like in front of all like, the internet. But what's your like, you know, what's a big career goal you have? Like a big lot to do? Because also mm. I'm curious to know, before you got like 30 under 30 and like future class, like did you have aspirations to get those things? Or is it kind of just like, oh, sh you got it. And you're like, oh, that's fucking cool. Like what, you know, what's up? Well, I mean, future class didn't exist Welcome until like i think a, like a month or two before you are the uh, inaugural future class now right yeah i was part of the inaugural so like the once it existed one. i was like oh i want to get that and then it happened 30 under 30 i didn't really care about until um i started to realize that i could get it mm -hmm. because <laughs> because tim got it uh and like there was enough people that would nominate me to possibly get it that's Gosh. when i started to be like okay maybe i should try to get it um but yeah, it wasn't like it wasn't like a long term goal. Let's see. I'm gonna get the checkpoint. I'm gonna turn around. All right, I'm going kind of clock clockwise. I'm gonna throw it forward to our teammate. He's got it. Oh, he's done. So he's about to get hit. Yeah, this seems really aggressive. There's a lot oh, of attacking. Oh, I almost did it. He always asks me what I do, like roller derby, like for real, and I'm like, I don't think so. It's just a lot of the idea of like being on skates and also like colliding into people is kind of a lot. Yeah, this seems like it could be scary and also dangerous. <laughs> I have to just match me to check my settings to make sure I'm actually not on the Wi Fi because I am still getting a little bit of lag. See, now my game is lagging. Crazy. See, maybe it's just like, and that's what that's what chat was saying. They're like, I mean, it might not be the game, you know. It might just be like, I mean, not be, it might not be you. It might just be like the game, kind of. No, go away! <laughs> I got hit. You can press a square to do like a juke. Oh, okay. Like a spin move situation. Good tackle. Thanks. He had passed it the last second though, so. Oh, nice. Sweet. Good interception. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Hold on. Triangle pass. Oh, you need yep, it. Yep. Yep. I did it. I passed it. Oh, I got a hit. Nice. Yeah, this is just a tackle session. Oh my god. There we go. All right. If you can, if you can like cover my back. Okay. Try to tackle them now. before they get oh. to me. Sorry, I did not cover you well. It's all good. It's all good. I tried tackling, but then I oh, got caught up. Dang, I, was, I, had a, I had it pulled back. Okay, I knocked one person the balls loose. Nice. I think you, right, you I got it. it I'm going to take it back to the first checkpoint, then turn around. Okay. 
Yeah, they're like, they're really aggressive. I'm gonna have to. All right, pass the floor to okay, our okay. guy. Yeah, yeah. Let me just try to take out Shino. Yeah, we can to take out ahead the floor of it. Yeah. Oh, they got it back. Got it back. Yeah, so what's next, you know? Uh, make more money. <laughs> fair. I like, I don't know if there's any accolades that like. That's my, been my answer too. Like in the last, uh, yeah. you know, it's not exactly that interesting, but I'm like, I don't know. I like what I do. I think I just want to make more and keep doing stuff. I mean, it, uh, cause I, I met up with um, Jules from the UK. And they asked me that. They're like, "Oh, what's your, what, you know, what do you want to do?" And I'm like, "I oh, guess I like more Jules. hosting stuff." Yeah, Jules was really cool. It was my first time meeting them in real life. Um, but we had done the BAFTA thing together. That's the thing too. One thing that's hard about, and this sounds kind of like privileged, but you know, I don't know when this industry. Fuck, I've got fucking hit. Um, it's hard to like know what you want to do because a lot of times I don't know that I could do those things until I'm doing them. Like the BAFTA thing. Like that was really fun. I loved doing that. I liked being involved in the judging of that. I didn't know that that was an option, an option. so yeah. I'm like, oh, this well, is cool. Well, because those things come in randomly, right? Yeah. Like, you kind of don't know what opportunities you can do until they appear. I'm throwing it forward so you can go get it. Oh. Nice, that's fine, that's fine. Pass to yourself. Oh, damn it. I was trying to just throw it forward so like, we can uh, pr progress yeah, the yeah. checkpoints. They guys still got to make a full circle around. Right, I'm going to take it back. I'm going to turn around. I will say, I think it could use more in the way of sound slash music. Like, it's kind of like quiet. I feel that, yeah. Even like occasional. Yeah, I think they need just like a little bit more sports. shout, a little bit like a little bit more with the shout casting, maybe. I know it's gonna be contingent on like what's going on, but like. Yeah. I think of like you know, well, like, FIFA's like, way FIFA, louder than this. Yep. I'll <laughs> say FIFA every now and then chimes in with like the aud like the auditorium music that'll play. Yeah, or just like. I think Rocket League does a similar thing. Even like the crowd, like, can we like fill up the stand, the stadium a little bit more? Like, <laughs> it's like a little sparse. Yeah. But yeah, like, there's not really like a um, like an accolade, like third in the third year or anything like that, that I'm like really like striving for at this point. Yeah, I'd like to win to... some type of award for something. Mm. Like that'd be cool. I feel like. I'm surprised. I, I can see you getting like future class. I'm surprised actually you weren't already. For some reason, I already assumed that you were in future class. I know. I feel like, you know, hey, everyone here watching, please nominate for. The thing is, the nomination for future class is kind of a pain in the ass because you do have to write. And like, I don't think that's wrong. Like, I, I, I don't have a beef with how they do it, but because it is more involved, like, people have to be down to like fill out the little form and to do everything. Um, but yeah, I was like. I tried, but it did not. I did not get it last year. I'm hoping this year will be the year. I wouldn't really count that for like winning an award. That's more of like a, because you're like in a group. Like I don't know. It's like a di it's different. Like I want like a like it doesn't have to even be from a, like a crazy clout filled organization. You want but I want the creator of the year from Game. Yeah, you know I want like some type of certificate and or trophy. Um, that's what I want. <laughs> Jay. Oh, they're not shooting the J. They're going to go no. for it. So if you go for multiple laps, you're going to get more points. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he's got it. Oh. Oh. I, yeah. Oh, gosh. I'm still in, like, not don't swear mode from the stream earlier. So I'm like, oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, oh, goodness. I did swear once when that kid was there. I said the word shit because I, I just... I just I fell into a defaulting mode. I thought that I I would think that would be easier for you since you're a teacher. Um, I'm not normally gaming when I'm so teaching long. though. Is the thing like uh, it's a lot easier to be like, oh, let me not swear about. Oh, shoot the oh, gosh. See, that's why I keep saying gosh every ten seconds. Oh no, <laughs> Jimmy Cricket. Like, yeah, like it's different because I'm not in like a high. Um, I'm not in a performance mode when I was teaching. Um, and also my kids were really old. I don't think it would like. I mean, I definitely didn't. Like, you know, it wasn't that deep anyway. Like, my kids were like 17, 18 years old. Like, 
Ashley Ingbo said, I can give you my fourth grade bowling trophy. See, I've gotten stuff like that before. Like, I, when I was a kid, I was in a, a baseball, and I got, um, we got a little participation trophy. Uh, we ranked fourth that year in my team, the Kansas City Royals. So, you know, shout out to them. I had, a, I had a friend that, like, I went to their, uh, she was a teacher, or not a teacher, she was actually, like, a, um, I forget what they call it, like, a psychologist, school sure. psychologist? Okay, yeah, um, yeah, counselor, counselor, maybe? Counselor, yeah, 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 she was, like, a school counselor, and, hold on, uh, she was a school counselor, and I, she hit me up to be, to do, like, a, um, career fair situation. Oh, yeah, cute. Yeah, and, like, when I saw her yes, at school, I started talking to her, and she was, like, using curse words, and I was like, can you can you say that here? Like, are you allowed to do that? It was a high school, but... Oh, sh I tried. I'm gonna pass 40. Yep. Okay. Take it all the way. There's gonna be somebody right behind you. But you got space. Shoot it. Oh! oh. I did not have the space. <laughs> yeah, they like. I probably should have juked when you, you mentioned that they were like right there. Okay, I got the ball back. I'm tossing to you. Thank you. Okay, you got plenty of space. There's no one behind you. No, no, no. There, you're okay. You're okay. Okay. Shoot it. Oh no, I had to go around another time. Okay. Oh, uh, you got one guy there. behind you. Juke him. Oh! Oh, get the rebound. Oh, there. They got it. Oh. Oh, I had him. Nice. Got it. Okay, I passed ahead. Cool. Let's see if we can tackle those guys. Yeah, they're coming up on him fast. Uh, oh, I oh, can't. Awesome. I couldn't make it. They might do this. Oh no. That might be game. I think that was sudden death. Yeah, I think so too. It's solid. I think the hard, the thing for me that's the most challenging is um just sort of like camera control on top of the So if you uh, have you been holding L2? on defense no i've just been like chaotically swirling the camera <laughs> to whatever way i like think i need to have it so if you hold l2 on defense it'll automatically focus on the camera like in rocket league when you have like the ball uh, oh like to the ball yeah yeah i have done ball. that a yeah, little yeah. bit i have done that a little bit yeah uh, okay i didn't realize I could, I could do that until like yesterday somebody told me i was like wait really i've been playing this game the whole time without doing that okay let me um really quick check my settings on my console See that I'm not on the Wi-Fi anymore. System. Shit. What do I go for this? Um, network. Yeah. Okay. How do I change this? Settings. Can I? Every now and then I just forget that my cam, my um, lights are on in my room for my like Elgato lights shining in my face. Okay, I'm just gonna disconnect. I hit. I, cause I'm, I did a test thing. So it still says like okay, so it still says I'm on the Wi-Fi. How do I like? You're not on the Wi-Fi. No, it tells me I am on the Wi-Fi. How do I like? Oh, tell if it. If you go to settings, then network, okay. then um, I think it's connect. No, I think it's settings and setup. So, yeah, it's you're right. It's setup. Yep, wired LAN instead. Okay. Wired, yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm changing to LAN. And I assume that's gonna kick you from the party. Yeah, yeah probably. Probably. Oh, it's a hard to find. How's it going? Yeah, look, play for you said it at the same time that Bless was saying it. It's nothing personal. It's just it just has is how it was. Oh yeah, but early thoughts. Um, yeah, I it's interesting because I have played this game a little bit before. Um, because I did that original um preview, and I don't think the game really 
the core of the game did not change. I'm sure there's obviously, of course, a bunch of tweaks because that was many years ago, but um, it's okay. I don't think it's, you know, it's, I keep making the comparison to freaking, what's the kick, what's the dodgeball one? What is Knock it called? City. Yeah, yeah, Knockout City. I don't like it as much as Knockout City. I just think the, um, the nature of the kind of game it is lends itself a bit more to mechanical monotony than Knockout City does in a way. Um, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's I like been it my fine. point with the modes. Like, I feel like if they had yeah. more variation in ma- maps and modes, then that wouldn't it wouldn't feel as like old so, so yeah. quickly. Yeah. And like, they, I when you were talking about it on PS Love You, like a, a mode that was in there during the beta, and I was like, is that in the game? Did I just miss it? And then like when I was playing last night, I was playing with a friend from UB, and they're like, oh yeah, there used to be this mode that is here at launch, and I was like, oh okay, that's the mode that Janet was oh, talking about. What was about. The, what was the mode? Because now I'm curious. It was like. Uh, I forget what, was, what they said it was called, but it was basically like, yeah, King of the Hill, like every five seconds you need to pass the ball. or else Oh, or that was, so I don't even remember if I played that. I was describing um, what FIFA has. So FIFA has a King of the Hill. Oh, okay. And it's kind of like, um, you know, they like auto generate um, zones on the pitch and you have to like unlock it in that way. Um, I mean, promote you because I think since your brother, can I, can I wear anything that isn't this though? Hold on. If you go to Skater, if you have stuff unlocked, Wait, wait, do I need to buy? Mm-hmm. You need to buy most of it, yes. With real money. <laughs> it's really bad. Yeah, never mind. I would like to not wear this fresh meat shirt anymore, but we'll just leave it as it is for now. Yeah, you Once look you way cooler. Loot boxes, you might get a new shirt. Yeah, we can just go. It's okay. It's fine. Right, I, just start, just, I just started looking for I'll just be action. ugly. It's okay. But yeah, like I, I'm very shocked that they only have this one mode with like the one map. Um, even though they have different like map aesthetics, like there's yeah. three maps technically, but it's still not enough for this same rolling um, around in the circle mode. Yeah. Uh, like Knockout City had one v ones, they had three v threes, they had like the different variations of that. But then also they had like here's all items, here's different maps that ha- all have different layouts, right? Mm-hmm. And they had like what like six to eight maps. They had a yeah, lot more. Yeah, because like you know I don't think it's a there's no shade to roller derby as a sport, um, but obviously gaming is different than playing the sport. Like you could like playing one and not like playing the other. Um, I think because the game itself doesn't have a lot of inherent variety, like FIFA has a lot of variety because it's like, it's replicating a soccer game, which is a very varied sport. Um, this is, since you're just going in the circle, like it doesn't have, it'd be like if Splatoon only had different like, you know, skins on the maps. Like part of what makes that game a little bit more compelling is like there's different strategies and challenges based on the terrain that you're on. Um, and it also has different modes, even though that game also doesn't have quite enough either, but yeah. Yeah. I, I've, I've not played real life roller derby, but does it play exactly like this? Is, I is haven't it like... played it either. Not the lo- not the ball. <laughs> like the basketball part is not part of it to my knowledge. Okay. It's, it, but it is about making certain laps and you can kind of bump into people. Um, I'm sure there's like fouls and stuff too in derby, but, and I don't remember though, if you're passing a ball forward, if anyone in chat knows. Because I don't actually know roller derby because I haven't played it, but like I know a little bit about the gen. It is based on derby in terms of you're yeah. rolling around on the like, this being is like it, This is like an arcade take on it, right? So they can get crazy yes. with it. And the yeah, way yeah. I would do it is like because they have the checkpoints, right? I don't think it's that hard to understand. Like, oh yeah, you, you need to go, you need to follow this. Yeah, I think it is like a race, like play for saying. It's like kind of like a race structure, like getting a certain amount of laps uh, in or some, something like that. I think. Like what it should be is like this should be a map, right? Like another map should be instead of it going in a oval circular direction to get the checkpoints, it should be like a here's a figure eight map that you go you have to like get the checkpoints still and then score the ball. Here's another map that's shaped like I don't know, like a fucking Mario Kart course. Like it sh- the the map yeah. should have different shapes and should have like it should feel like playing Overwatch where you hop in and you're like, oh okay, well, cool, we're doing this map now. All right, let's go. Um, I'm gonna pass forward to Deluxe here. Okay, what does oh, the uppercut do? You can use it to like block. Okay. I also kind of wish they had. I, I kind of wish they had something other than pump for speed, because the pump they have it's like a down and up, which does gain speed. But there's other ways to gain speed on your skates than just pumping in that kind of way. I think they have like a if you um coast off of your teammates, like. The colors that they leave behind. Oh yeah, yeah. kind of like that gives um, you speed. God, what do they call it? Like dra- it's like drafting, basically. Drafting, yeah, and like Mario Kart. Yeah, and then you you're also right, if right. you if you press left or if you press L one on your teammate, you can grab onto them and then oh, release fun. it. It'll like launch you forward. Okay. I 
I got scared. <laughs> and you were ahead of me for like one second, so that's why I had passed. But I also thought you were someone else. I was trying. I was trying to do the L, the L one thing. Um, I kind of wish there was a. Um, and maybe there is. Let me know if there is like an indicator for like when people are behind you, other than just having to rotate the camera. Like, oh yeah. Completely. Like I think that would. Be, I don't know if that make it OP to be on offense. So I could see why they might not want to put that in for balancing reasons. But I think they might also like want the teamwork communication for like your teammates to be like, hey, you got somebody on your back. Oh yeah, yay! Does that slow you down though if I do that? It's oh no, it's okay. I launch no faster. Music. Yeah, you launch forward. The silence faster, yeah. is awkward. I don't yeah, think it slows um, you down. Uh, play forward in my chat. Just mentioned like it's it's weird. There's like no music. Yeah, I don't know what's with that. Yeah, it um, is weird. Okay, here we go. I'm passing to you. Thank you. Yeah, I mentioned that uh, a little bit earlier that they just uh, the sound design and also um, the uh, light, like the tracks, like the general like music is, is odd. And I don't think there's enough like color commentary. Granted, I do have it kind of turned lower on my headphones because I'm talking to blessing, but like I feel like that was something I noticed that, a lot. You want that NBA Street, Bobby Hill Garcia? Yeah, like I, um, you know, we could use some too, like. Um, and I don't know, again, maybe this is like a settings thing, like some slow-mo stuff for like the goals as well. Like just, you know, oh, a little yeah. bit more flavor, I give think. Me a, give me a give me a Overwatch play of the game. I think too, and I and I understand like the need to monetize, which is always like such a challenge with games like this, but the like you mentioned, like the feeling of not really being able to get like cool stuff, like what I want from a game like this is for the gameplay to either be so cool that I don't mind buying funky skins and stuff um or for like the like the progression of getting those things to be interesting enough that i want to keep playing like one of those two things needs to pull me in or ideally both hey now hey now we oh, got a badoof in the house come on come on get that hat yeah that hat badoof i love him so much yeah, oh, yeah I, I, I think you just have to do kind of bad with their Monetization, monetization of their cosmetics. Like, the, the cosmetics are uninteresting, and then they always cost a lot of money. And they're hard to earn in game. Oh, he's going for the double lap. Okay, I'll put the hat on after this match, because we can't pause the live yet. Wait, actually, I might have a second here. Oh, no, I don't. Just kidding. Oh, yeah, I do. Here we go. Yeah, it's, it's weird for me that this game has been in development for so long. And oh, yeah. It also, a lot of the progression stuff hasn't been... This sounds so on. mean, and, and, you know, I don't mean this to disparage, like, the work that was done, but I also feel... I'm a little bit... kind of bummed that it doesn't feel much different. Like, I'm... And that's why, like, I hadn't commented on the game much before, because I'm like, well, I played so long ago, it might be, like, very different. It doesn't feel that different from when I first played it. Again, I know there's stuff that I... I'm not aware of behind the scenes with like balancing and stuff, but um, yeah, I don't know. Do you have anything else you have to do today, like work wise? Uh, without like, yes and no. Know, I have a thing that Roger wants me to do um, that I might, uh, I might go and do. Let's but get I some do doof doofs in the chat for our Tuesday. best baby boy, but do. But I might actually do. I'll probably do like a, one or two more matches of this and then yeah, yeah. do that thing. I'm good with that. Yeah, thanks for coming through on this too. It's thanks it's for helpful. having me. Yeah. Where can people find you? <laughs> oh my god, it feels so it feels so fake, even though it's like yeah. YouTube.com/slash Blessing Junior, where I never post it. Oh yeah, same. Like people are constantly like, "Oh, you have a YouTube channel?" I'm like, "Yeah, I just don't do a lot on there." Yeah, we got yeah. the Badoof. I know for me, it's just stuff finding a thing I'll put on there that wouldn't just go on the kind of funny account. I kind of have um, stuff like that too. Yeah, where um. Yeah. Sorry, I went to drink some coffee. Um, where um, it's now that I have like my pen to pixel stuff, where I put my reviews and like listicles. I'm like, okay, well then my channel. I kind of just use like stuff that feels more very personally just my solo own opinion on stuff. Um, but obviously, yeah, if I worked in an outlet, it would be like really different. Um, I'm like the outlet I work at is my own, so it's like it's whatever I want. Mm. Um. Yeah, I'm down to pl I'm down to play play for it if you want to jump in after bless. I wouldn't mind playing a little bit longer. I I could be down. Yeah. Is this, does that yeah, crossplay? Is it crossplay? No, I uh, I don't think it, you can't party up crossplay. Oh. But I do think we're playing people that are like on different platforms. Okay. 
for matchmaking. Yeah, you know, all these are PlayStation baby. icons, so I have no idea, honestly. Oh, play force said, wait, what? That's terrible. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know offhand if anyone wants to, you know, hit the Google, but. But yeah, I'd be down to play again with y'all, um, you know, from Discord and the community if y'all are interested. I know we played a, um, like. You and me play four. We did some uh, knockout city and stuff. Obviously, I didn't stick with it the way y'all did, but. God, I miss knockout city. I'm not, I feel like playing it after playing this. Good. It's right there. Yeah, it definitely is. Like, and you know, it was interesting playing this um, during like a more previewy cycle, where everyone that I played with back in 2019 agreed that um, it was solid and like, oh, it seems cool, but like. It's one of those things where like games like this really need like a secret sauce as well. Like it's not enough to just be like a solidly made game. Um, yeah, I don't know. Knockout City, I think it had a, a really good layer of simplicity to it that served it really well. And I liked what they've done with the um, stages, even though, like I said, I didn't play a lot of it, but. Hmm. Yeah, Knockout City, I feel like Knockout City has had content that like helped it stay interesting. Like, yeah, I feel like the the. Um, progression on like wearable cosmetics like was good enough like it, it was not it was, it's not like it was like phenomenal in rocket league but it was it was good enough to where i kept wanting to find new stuff to apply to my character especially because the customization was good in rocket league i just like, got a trophy five, trophy hunter oh hell yeah like like my rocket league character's oh, hair was dope as fuck like the cool outfits me. and like logos i could apply to my character were like cool as hell like that was first and foremost and then also the cosmetics you would earn to add to that felt cool right like right now i don't think either of us have the want or desire to unlock more cosmetic stuff to add to our characters because like we didn't put a lot of work into creating our character yeah our creator our characters are pretty basic because like yeah. they put every like even hairstyles and all that stuff are behind cosmetics and that's a bummer yeah and then also like rock, like rocket league just had the different modes, see they so. do like, have the thing like, is, like i feel like if this if this game had way more of a carrot on the stick, I could see us getting to. And they have it, a but replay have mode, but it doesn't. It doesn't. Fe it just feels like it doesn't feel cinematic enough. I think for a game like this. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm probably gonna play later with Isaiah too and see what he thinks. We we've been like on an inadvertent ongoing game kick, trying Love to find like you. stuff to play together and all that. Okay, toss the fox. No. Oh, I got it back. Okay. Oh, oh, forward, oh I forward. almost did. Oh. No, I got, I got knocked. Um, yeah, I think, I think Fortnite's gonna be the winner for us. Cause I, 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 I like that game, and I feel like there's lots of incentive to play it. So. What? How did I miss that? Oh my goodness! I try to go for the block. I, I can't time the block, even though I'm like, I feel like I'm doing everything right. Like I'm sitting yeah. right there, I oh, throw yeah. it, I jump for it. I guess it's because you got the backboard shot. And the ring's so small, like, well, it's actually not that small, but like your body doesn't cover much. Also there's, I don't know, maybe there should be, I'm trying to think of how other games do blocking goals like that. But I'm like, well, in FIFA, you're not, you're only the goal tent, the, the goalie for, you know, not free kicks, but um, you know what I mean, like penalty kicks, basically. Oh yeah. That's not the right word. And that's either, like but, a you know. that's like a mini game, essentially. Yeah, I'm so bad at that still. Like I can't ever. I've never like cannot block those. I also can't make them either. It's like really bad. Well, they change. They keep changing the system between games. I feel like for the penalty kicks, and yeah. now it's just like I. I feel like it doesn't make sense. Like every time I step into a new FIFA, I'm like, all right, how do penalty work? How penalty kicks work in this one? Also, um, I change the settings in FIFA all the time. Um, oh yeah, Don't Pesha says, "Bless is out here trying to parry, not surprised." Oh yeah, <laughs> you got to. Um, yeah, like I also change the settings on FIFA every time I get a new one, so I have to like spend the first game, like 20 minutes, trying to make sure I have like the right settings. Oh, for sure. That, that might behind, be the reason I fell Someone's like uh, behind you on the right. Like, you want to duck them? Yeah. yeah. Okay, there's one person coming up on you. Oh. Okay, I knocked down one person yeah, that's yeah. near you, and there's only like maybe like one left. Okay. I just never got into a groove with this year with FIFA, but I'm going to try to come back for 
the first ever EA Sports FC. Oh my god, right? Damn. That was a schlacking. I don't know if it's gonna hit the same. Now that it's called EA Sports FC, I'll be honest. I don't know if I can play it anymore. Oh, come on. Get out of here. It's not, it's, it's, don't joke. It doesn't, don't even it doesn't joke. Roll, it doesn't roll off the tongue the same. It doesn't. Hey, bro, you wanna play some EA Sports FC? Yeah, it's, it's not. It's like, I also, on, okay, here's the question. Let's do you think, do you think they'll get the license back? No. Really? I don't think so, no. Because I don't think it matters en enough. And also, like, I think it, it just costs too much. Yeah, but I think maybe FIFA... after a year, people are going to be like, well, either people are going to just get used to it or people are just going to call it FIFA anyway. And they're going to be like, it doesn't matter. People maybe are just FIFA, call the FIFA. organization will, you know, ease up or something. I don't know. Apparently FIFA sucks. The no, FIFA does suck. Oh yeah, like they're super yeah. corrupt. I mean, did you see the um, fucking uh, World Cup in Qatar? <laughs> That's happening. Yeah, FIFA's very corrupt. Yeah. Uh, one more. All right. Uh, I think I'm actually have to pop, pop no. off. No. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Sadly, I, I, I we, remember we, that. I had we to ended on a loss. <laughs> I gotta eat food before I do the before I record a thing for Roger. That's fair. All Hopefully right. Hopefully it's not a repeat of yesterday. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for hanging out. Peace. It's been fun. Thanks see for ya. having me. Let's do this again soon. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you later. Bye. We're right now for bless. Yeah. 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 What's up, y'all? I feel like I haven't really uh, gotten a chance to, to chit chat because, you know, like I said, when I'm live with someone else, it's a lot more of talking to them and, and I don't always get to read everything. But uh, I see y'all here and I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, my Ubisoft name. That's a great question. Uh, play for it. I think it's Janet G94. If you want to try that. Um, thank you for the Bidoof Redemption and for calling out the Bidoof Redemption. Um, I appreciate that greatly. And yeah, is your crossplay enabled? I didn't know I had to enable it. Okay, let me go to settings. Controls, gameplay. Where do I enable crossplay? First option. Oh, okay, hold on. I think you'd missed it in chat before, but uh, curious. Oh, thanks for the hydrate. If you've played Demon Turf before, I have not played Demon Turf. Hold on. Hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, we can do some rounds. Do you want to jump into Discord, play it forward? You don't have to, but you can if you want to. We could do a couple of matches before, you know, I switch over to, what would I play next? Yeah, I'll jump into, okay, cool. Um. If you want to call me or vice versa, let me look. Let me see where I'm at. Let's see. I think I just saw you. There you are. Okay, I'm, I'm starting a voice call with you. So. Hello. Hi. Oh, God. I can hear you. You're here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's, uh, how's, the, how's the rolling in the derby? I'm rolling. I'm not very great but i'm here and i'm going in circles and i'm trying to hit people switch over to fortnite fortnite would be actually really fun but i do want to i'm also down but i do want to uh, go through my um regular regular best of stuff still how um, do i add you on here um on what is here like on ubisoft yeah let me see janet g94 i think so i'm clicking i clicked into ubisoft connect and i'm loading that to see what that says let me make sure that i'm I might be game honest this on Ubisoft. Let's see. Profile. I'm looking. I am, yeah, I am game honest this on Ubisoft Connect, I believe. But my PSN is Jan G94. Um, so, yeah. Whoa, it's like Eddie is really there. Yeah, this is uh, the oh, voice yeah, of Eddie, Eddie, Eddie McEderson. Um, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was a crime against me i don't watch did. atlanta do you think ubisoft will support this game i feel like they don't have a great track record with multiple other games because of hyper escape dying immediately i am gonna say yes only because i feel like they've been rolling this out <laughs> for a long time so uh, i kind of feel like they would see it through a little bit more but i don't know i don't know eddie what do you think um i hope they don't abandon it immediately although like the monetization is already like weird i i sent you a friend request on ub connect or whatever but okay way. um yeah it's it's neat i i told means that i probably wouldn't play it for a lot i mean if there's if it's with friends maybe but 
It, this doesn't have like the sauce that uh, um, Market are, City are has. you guess dash S E? That's probably not you. Yeah, I think it is because I don't. Oh. Yeah, it's weird. I Wait, do you not have a Ubisoft account? Um, it's complicated. I, I had the I Ubisoft account linked Mr. to my Ubisoft. older account. I Ubisoft. I need to talk to my people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I think I accepted you. I hope Finally, I did. somebody does. You know, it's like hard being an outcast in this. City. Yeah, but you know what? That's what gaming's all about: accepting people. Exactly. If you're a real gamer, you're out here accepting motherfuckers. This is my first time trying it. Um, nice. yeah, Neans, if you're if you're around too, feel free. It's you can have up to three people. So, Eddie Ubisoft. Yeah, that's how I know Eddie. I'm like, I'm gonna start doing that um, that annoying thing that people do when you're associated with anything. I'm like, yeah, can you tell them to you know like change this thing up? you ask them what their plan for this content is um yeah hit me up um yeah. I, I don't i don't see you on the invitation can you send me an invite i'm not sure how that works i will try to okay so when i hit invite let's see hold on <laughs> oh i had to sneeze there's no time to mute you know it was just i had to make a decision yeah. um this is also my least favorite part of on of like modern gaming and why i don't do a lot online like this process here I'm like, I'm going to have to just clear my schedule for this whole thing. Okay, let's see. More options, maybe? Start chat, remove friends, set nickname, view profile. None of those are what I want to do. Okay. Huh. All right, y'all. We are X amount of people together. If y'all know the way to make this go, let me know. I'm going to putz around a little bit more. Um, options? Like, I just don't know. Like, you know don't do, like... I... Yeah, absolutely. It really makes me appreciate Epic's like simplicity a lot more, where it's like it just it just works kind of. Yeah, people are saying there's just it's because there's no crossplay for parties. So yeah, I guess we can't we can't play together. I don't think. Well, this was good. Well, well this was short lived. Yeah. yeah, I kind of do want to. You know what? Let's um, are you like around for the day? Like, what's your deal today? Absolutely. Okay, because maybe we will end today with um, Fortnite impromptu or something. That could be fun. Yeah, that'd be good. Let if y'all are around, because I could probably I'll be do watching, that. So, yeah. I could probably do that. Um, because I'm already, you know, it's already been like an hour. I've streamed for like an hour. I did this. Normally, I split. Well, I do have two games I want to go through, but they're pretty short. I want to do um, Little Wish in the Woods, even though you said it wasn't that good. Um, and Floppy Nights. But I don't. I don't think I need two hours for each of. I don't think I need an hour for each of those games necessarily. And I do four. So even if I took an hour for each, I'd still have an hour left. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think um, I think we'll do that at the end of stream. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you. Um, very sadly Goodbye. because everybody does it's fine this is what it is okay bye Eddie bye okay y'all so that was a fail um, but this was Ubisoft um, this was Ubisoft's roller champion so uh, again this game is a free to play game um, available um, kind of everywhere I think across platforms it doesn't have cross platform for parties but there is cross platform play with like competing with other people um, yeah, it was very high by Eddie. I think we will probably do some impromptu Fortnite at the end of the stream, but for now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the other games that I want to check out, which are, uh, Little Witch in the Woods and also, um, Floppy Nights. Uh, those are both games that are on Game Pass. Uh, again, I've only been live for about the hour, but I do want to, oh, also this timer went off. Uh, I do want to switch over like consoles and everything. So I will take my break now just so that I can make that quick switch. Um, get up, kind of clean up the desk and, and all that stuff. So yeah, we'll probably do from like three to four, Little Witch in the Woods, four to five PT, um, Floppy Nights, and then five to six, we could close out with some Fortnite. Uh, just as a for fun thing, because I've been getting into that game uh, and it's been cool. So yeah, um, so hang tight, y'all. I'm going to go ahead, excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and switch some stuff over. Uh, I probably will come back, or I probably will still have to do some stuff outside of like the intermission just because um the intermission is just my chair and i have to sit in the chair and do some of that stuff but um yeah so hang tight uh and i will be back in about five minutes or less in the meantime you can enjoy the solo chair stream of this chair uh and the song shub as composed by my brother um so yeah i will be right back
Hello, it is I. I've returned. Um. Hello, it is I. I have returned. Um. Bing bong. What's going on? Um. So many things happening. Sounds like someone that uses the what? An impromptu dress, but nothing on the shelf is moving. I'm concerned. Oh yeah, you guys are always looking for um. Spooky, scary things going on. Um, what's up, guys? Uh, we're back, and we're going to switch over games. I will have a little bit of a process here switching over games just because I want to do um, a change to, like, the art and stuff. Um, but the next game we're going to play is not a PlayStation game. It's an Xbox game. So, um, hey, thanks for the bit. No, Doc, the camera was shaking and I was worried it was an earthquake lol. Oh, that's so funny. Um, yeah, no, I don't know why the camera was shaking. Um, if I put my hands on the desk, it shakes, but I don't, I wasn't very close to it. I did, uh, go from behind the desk to, uh, mute my mic, but that was kind of it. Um, but yeah, Little Witch in the Woods is the next game we're gonna play. I'm gonna already change that over here. And it will take me a few moments just to set it up. Uh, this is a game I've been looking forward to for a while. Uh, it is still an early access, but it dropped on Game Pass kind of unceremoniously, unceremoniously, at least to me. Like I didn't have it on my radar for when it was coming up here. Oh, what's up, Miniface staff? Um, and again, what's up to everybody here in chat hanging out? Like I said, it is always uh, the one downside of streaming with other people is you don't always get to give as much attention to chat. So I appreciate y'all's patience and, and hanging out. Uh, we just finished Roller Champions uh, with Bless, which was really fun, uh, just to kind of hang out with him and, you know, make some content real fast. Um, but now we are going to be on to Little Witch in the Woods, coming up soon. Oh, thanks yeah. for the sub, Dark Haze. I appreciate it. Uh, and thanks for all the other subs that came through. Again, can't always, um, you know, I can't always, uh, what am I, like my brain has broken. Hold on. I think I was going to say, like, I can't always respond to everything all the time, but I always do appreciate it, and I appreciate y'all's understanding. I don't hate Little Witch in the Woods, but definitely feels early access. That is the thing, and I am a little bit, um, definitely bummed that, um, hearing from Played 4 that he was not so hot on it definitely makes me feel like, oh, this, I'm probably going to have the same opinion as him. It's not guaranteed, right? We're different people. But my guess is, if he's not that hot on it, Maybe I won't be either, but I do want to check it out. Um, and it's been on my radar for some time. So like I said, we're, I'm just going to set up a couple different aesthetic things here real quick. Um, let me also read y'all what's up with Little Witch in the Woods. So here's the pitch. Uh, Little Witch in the Woods tells the story of Ellie, an apprentice witch, explore the mythical forest, help the charming residents, and experience the daily life of the witch. That is the idea for this game. And I feel like... Let me turn on this controller. I want to get a sense of, like, the colors. I think the main color is kind of that kind of green, maybe. Hopefully they let me change these without. And a little bit of that. The brown, I think, is a big deal, too. So we can do the sidebar is brown. And then we can do maybe the status bar as this kind of gray. So here's a real fast update. Oh, let's get that that green in there somewhere. I feel like this green is not coming up, even though I have it labeled as main section. Weird. Huh, this might be, there might be a little bit of a bug going on here. Let me try to make it white and see what happens. It does turn white. Why doesn't it turn green? I want it to be aquamarine green. Weird, weird or weird. I don't know what's up with that. If I just select it, will it? Okay, let me go white and then maybe I can go from white to the green magically. That's so odd. I don't know why. Oh, it's chroma out. That's smart. That's smart. You're right. You're right. Um, let me then instead just do, let's just do this more gray color for the main. It's trying to protect me from myself, yeah. Or this violet kind of color. Yeah, I guess that's fine. The status bar, maybe the status bar can be green. Probably not, I think all of it's chroma keyed out. Yeah, I mean. I could do like a, 
Yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer. I really wanted to do like a maybe like a blue. You know what? This is fine. It's okay. It's decent. Slack. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, the slack. That's a lot. Um, someone canceled on me for lunch, so I went to my little comic book store to buy. Yeah, how have you liked it? Um, Edwin just read through that. Even though I have slack clothes, so I don't know why slack is going off. But um, okay, this is gonna have to be what we call good enough um, with these colors. I would like something a little bit more festive, but this will have to do. Um, and then other things to change out. I can close this thing. I think we're finally good to go. I think those are all the things to um, to update. But yeah, yeah, definitely sorry to hear about the, the cancellation, but the, the comic book is cool. Yeah, Edwin really liked it so far. Um, fun fact, I'm actually gonna be hosting KFGD with Gary on Tuesday. So that's exciting. It'll be our first time doing KFGD together. Uh, are you going to do a stream? No, I'm not going to do a stream needs for State of Play because I will be doing a stream with Kind of Funny on State of Play. Um, sort of our idea moving forward with everything is just to, um, what's the word? We're going to do our reaction streams for uh, PlayStation stuff together just so that we can record the podcast directly after. Um, so yeah, so, that's, so moving forward, I won't be doing any PlayStation stuff on my own um, stream Unless, like, for some reason we wouldn't do it for PS I Love You, which usually we're doing stuff like that for PS I Love You. So, yeah. Um, but I'll still be using my own channel for, like, other reactions, like the Nintendo ones and all that. Again, occasionally, if there's an opening and an invite to do it on KF, I do enjoy doing that as well. Um, but, you know, there's pros and cons to each. It, it can be fun to kind of form my own um, space and community and kind of have a more, um, you know, intimate reaction with y'all because, obviously... We can't call out everything in the kind of funny chat. Yeah, kind of consolidating things. What's good game is, hey, Wallaby, it's good to see her again. I am worried this game has not loaded. It's definitely a concern. Um, why does Slack keep going off even though I have already, let me just try to mute all my notifications. I literally have Slack closed, so it should not be going off, but there we go. Um, I promise there's like nothing happening. It's like random news stories. Okay, this is not loading, so we're gonna close it and then try to open it again. It's ghost slack. Oh yeah, thanks Wobby. Yeah, we had we had um, a, uh, a raid in from Kind of Funny, which definitely helps bolster things. Um, and it was cool because uh, we had talked very like openly on, I think it was PS I Love You, something like that about like, oh, it'd be cool to, um, you know, like play Fortnite together. And I was like, yeah, I'll like, I'd like to, you know, jump on that. And then they're like, oh, we're doing it on Friday. And then like, I think it was, might have even been Greg who was like, hey, um, let me also mute to, I have it still, Discord audio. Um, Greg was like, why don't you come through um, and move your stream up to like two o'clock? So I did move the stream up earlier today so that we can raid you after the stream, which I thought was, you know, really nice. Like definitely not a needed thing, but something that I always appreciate. Uh, and I really like that. Kind of funny is very supportive of me and my solo ventures. And, you know, like they're always looking to like help me like get gigs or do more stuff or improve on stuff. Like, uh, you know, Tim sent me this key light that I'm using now uh, just to kind of help improve my setup because I was looking for ways to beef that up. So, yeah, I, I like it. Uh, you've been going pretty steadily. Yeah, it's been good. It's been really good. Thank you all for being here and, and part of that, whether you're a returning visitor, a returning viewer like uh, Wallaby, whether you're here almost all the time like uh, Play It Forward or whether you're here for the first time. Always happy to have you, and we're here, we're hanging out, we're playing games. I'm just shifting over my light colors a little bit. Making this a purple. I don't know why it's green back here. It's like the sunlight. Um, I wonder where the carrot was. It is very cute. You're still thinking about that. We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. They're just throwing us in here. There was something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. Here for a second time, Invisible Man, glad to see ya. That is nice, explains why I it left, it felt early. Yeah, it, it was early. So I've been MMA, I, got, I go on Twitch so infrequently. No, totally, totally fine. We're here all the time hanging out and uh, you know, it's whenever whenever you can make it, it's always fun to, to see y'all here, so. Open up to one of the boosters and got this cute Leafan card and it's rare. I decided to look it up and it goes for $100, okay some options there. I just realized we never checked the men's bathroom. Yes, there are some lines we don't cross. We searched the whole school, save for that place 
We never found the carrot. That means the carrot was in the men's restroom. What is going on here? A carrot in a men's restroom? What a- I'm a little bit- Oh. Duh. The hat- Okay. The hat is talking to me, and I'm Ellie. Okay. It took me way too long to process that, but we're there now. We got it. We figured it out. Um, also, the purple on the overlay does actually work really well for the game. Um, do a voice for the hat. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. Can't you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom, after all. Nope, that coward finds it. He'll take it to the teacher, bawling like before. Keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. Or six feet under. Like, she's way too chill about this near-death experience. Oh, I'm so bored. It's a flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. I see why no one else wants to ride this god-awful train. It's boring enough to drive anyone insane. Hey, a ticket for this train costs 500 pies. And it, you see? I don't know why I'm dipping into this weird accent. Um, it stopped the witch's house in High Lion, Lion, where all the roads lead. You're second place at the school for witches. Whatever, I don't care about any of that. How am I second place anyway? I even sneaked into the forbidden room twice. Three times. I even looked through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the school basement. I still remember that horned rabbit that was all that was as big as a house. No wonder Will started crying. So how did I manage second place? I simply didn't want to lose. Cut it out and sit quietly. This is a train for only those who want to succeed. The dialogue made me think I missed a scene. Yeah, they kind of just throw you in there. It's a lot. Stick with the accent. It's just, yeah, it's a lot. The, the witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. Fine, fine, enough with the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. Shoes for what? I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive. I won't, I won't fool around for the, the moment I get here, or get there. I didn't know you had self-awareness. Don't you know about the terrible city of rules that is in High Lion? The first thing you do is take your shoes off as soon as you get off the train. This is my first time hearing something like that. I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived to High Lion. So she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See, mom bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Aria just mean to encourage you? No, Dad also said, did say that comfortable boots would be better. That's strange. It's true. I'll also ask other people if, I, if you don't believe me. Lace boots, a keyword gain. It's a pair, it's a pain to wear lace up boots if you're boarding the train to High Lion. It's weird that you have to take your shoes off when you get there. It's a little uncomfortable. Uh, the only issue I have um, with the Like a Dragon streams is that I'll have a tough time recommending other JRPGs afterwards. Pretty much hit the peak, especially with my beloved Persona 5. Even with my beloved Persona 5 Royale, I think Persona 5 will be a fun time. But that's interesting to think of. The truth remains. Okay. Ooh, okay, a lot happened there. A lot to unpack. Um, I love the art. And I appreciate the background pixelated, the foreground um, sort of being a little bit more realistic looking. But um, I am not a big fan of like how they introduced it. It just felt very jarring to be thrown in this way. And again, this is this is an early access game. So it's going to be one of those weird ones where I don't know when I'll count this as like like, I really play early access for Best of 2022, but this game has been on my radar for so long that I really just wanted to have us kind of check it out together. Hello, Mr. Bartender. Hey, want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? Of course. Then I'll have a cup of that. The tea has alcohol, though. Is that okay? This is fucking hilarious, actually. But then that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. Then, can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Anytime. Okay, keyword conversations. You can initiate conversations using the keywords at your disposal. I like this um, dialogue structure. It kind of reminds me of um, her story a little bit with like the search terms and stuff. Make the bartender sound like Toad. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta pay for that if you want the, the, you know, channel point pay for that if you want the bartender to sound like Toad. What's up? Ooh, okay. 
All right. Uh, you got it from now on. Everyone else will be towed except for me, I guess. Let me put the timer on. That's the thing, you know? I got, oh, it's five minutes. It's three minutes actually now instead of five because five was too long. Let me know. Okay. Oh, God. Pun. <clears throat> Let me know if you need anything to drink. I want some water. Ah, uh, I'm thinking. Ah. Uh, let me know if you need anything to drink. Something on your mind? What sort of work do you do here? I'm mixing my life and changing the, al changing the alcohol. Wait, I think it's the other way around. I'm just an average bartender working in the most expensive place in the world. What brings you to this very expensive terrain? I thought you were listening to our conversation. I stopped listening when it got boring. I'm going to be an apprentice at the witch's house in High Lion. After working as an apprentice for three years, I will be able to graduate from the school for witches. Wow, High Lion, huh? That's a right proper place, isn't it? <laughs> so they say. That's probably why you got the train ticket for free. You must be somewhat special. <laughs> I don't really care about what kind that kind of thing, though. That kind of thing is, is what's important at the end of the day. It's best to just suck it up. You'll be glad you did later down the road, you know? Yeah, later. Want some water? Why are you working here as a bartender and not the shop? I used to own a bar. Is this area? In this area? Sure did. My wife and I, the two of us. Whoa, you're both bartenders? I met her at work after all. We had to move due to circumstances though, so here we are now. Hi, Lion. Hi, Lion? I'm not sure. Uh, I hope a time comes when the two of you open a shop again. What's up? Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? What for? From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot into High Lion or High Linian, I don't know, station. You work the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers who are all dressed up for High Lion. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I advise you to untie them in advance. Oh, ye who reacheth high lion, look first upon thy shoes. Oh, sorry. Oh, ye who reacheth high lion, look first upon thy shoes. Or so that's how the saying goes. See, Virgil, I was right. The preppy boots my mom gave me as a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots. Right? My mom bought them for me when she found out I was graduating uh, magna cum laude. Sure is amazing how I'm graduating magna cum laude despite your antics. You gonna keep up with that attitude of yours? Haha! <laughs> Here are the two of you speak! I have a feeling being boredom won't be an issue. Being boredom? What? Okay. Timer. <laughs> uh, oh, the hydrate. Thank you. I'm like, I'm gonna go, thanks for listening. Imagine going to a bar and the bartender, your woes, and they respond in this voice. <laughs> oh man, no, it's boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? Mr. Bartender, oh, if you're looking for me. Um, oh gosh, Siri, no. No! Also, hold on, y'all. I gotta text Isaiah and let him know about a place that we got burritos from, because he asked. Hold on. Oh gosh. I've gotten used to it, but it's certainly gotten less boring thanks to you and your hat. You've been listening? Oh, let me still do other voices. Other guests would have heard about your arson at the School of Witches by now. I didn't set it on fire. Really? Uh, sure, there was a fire, but that was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non-witch like me knows that. Exactly. How can you not try shaking it four times, having heard that? But you said you shook it five times. Nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. An, inquisi an inquisitive mind. You've re already got the makings of a fine witch. Thanks for the praise. I don't think he was praising you. I don't think he was praising you. I should be on my way then. All right, have a fun trip. You can't act like a country bumpkin once you're in the city, got it? You're not going to ask just one person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know? 
Even the greatest detectives never reach a conclusion based on a single piece of evidence. Hmm, you have a point. You can view notes with the keywords with the uh, back trigger, like basically L2 or LT. You playing on Xbox? Okay. So, a lot going on here. All right, unfortunately, gotta head out. Bye, Dark Case. Thanks for stopping by. So, any potion is a potential weapon? I guess so. It seems like a lot there. Okay, so... Something that's kind of surprising me is I wasn't expecting it to have this sort of, um... What's the word? Investigative twist to it? Would it be so conversation-heavy? Um... Again, not that it wasn't in the marketing. Maybe I just didn't kind of notice as much, but... Interesting. Uh, all thanks for the VO props. I appreciate it. Uh, bye, Dark Haze. Have a good one. Okay. So. Sort by newest. I mean, I don't really have any other ones to select. Related quest. The truth remains one. Okay. Investigate. The food was really delicious, though. Your face was bright only when you were eaten after getting on the train. The omelet that was an overflowing with cheese and crab meat as soon as it was cut. The pink salmon steak seasoned with fresh lemon scented kiwi sauce. Even the slightly frozen strawberries and peach sorbet with whipped cream. Without this meal, I would have jumped off the train sooner. It's definitely different from the food you buy at the store at the school for witches. I ate that to collect the Great Witch Series cards. I got scolded because I was caught keeping the card and throwing away the bread. Don't do that again in High Lion. Or is it Hylinian? Is it Hylian? Hylian? It's probably Hylian, right? I'll definitely try the new Nubacula cake cupcakes up there. That's if I get to Hylian, right? Right? I really want that omelet uh, before I get bored to death. Ordinary passenger. Hello. Oh, hello! Am I disturbing you? Negative! What's the issue? Oh, I want to ask you about something. You're on the way to Hylian, right? Correct! Um... What's the matter? Hylian. It, so it is Hylian. I thought it might be... I'm not sure. The, the voice thing says Hylian. I don't know. Oh, <clears throat> oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh my, old habits die hard, especially when one is deep in thought. You sound like the janitor from my school. <laughs> well, I used to be a soldier. What is this dialogue? So what brings you here? Speak. It's kind of aggressive now. You live in High Lion? Correct! I own a flower shop there! Whoa! Speak! Were you on your way somewhere? Yes, I meet, met an old friend of mine. Wow, must have been fun! Correct! Speak! Nothing you'd, f nothing you'd find exciting. It's unremarkable. Speak! <laughs> Since I'm not much of a talker, I don't have anything to say in particular. Speak. I hate that they end everything with speak. It's a very dialogue slash story heavy early access game. Uh, like, what is the gameplay going to be? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. You know, I, let me know in chat how far along things go for the, um, the sort of um, gameplay here. I do run a flower shop, but as you can see, I'm just a normal passenger at the moment. Speak! Okay, can I do, like, any of the change dialogue categories? Okay. The boots, I guess. Hold on, one second. Hold on. Woo, excuse me. Had a bit of, like, a tickle in my throat. Before that... What? What? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? Oh, I was gonna ask anyway. Isn't it uncomfortable to be wearing such strappy boots? It takes some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it would be hard for you when you arrive at Highline. <laughs> what? Speak. What are you talking about? Alternative half of the game. Hermione takes the train going to a... It is giving 
the vibes are off here. I okay. Don't mind us. The way people keep talking about their feet and their shoes, it's un it's a little. Uh, 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 I don't know how I feel about it. We're we're back to um, if you were in the min max um, E3 stream this week, it was chaos. It was complete chaos. I mean, you have to take off your shoes when you get off. What? 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 Huh? Oh, you were kidding. I'm sorry. I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. Jenny! Mr. Bartender! The mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, no, I just realized that I was deceived. Take off your shoes and take a load off. Unleash those toesy woesies, yum, 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 uh, yum, yum. Oh god, no. No! Come to think of it, I remember now. It's a joke to make fun of people who visit High Lion for the first time. Stop, you don't have to kill me twice by giving that much detail. I'm sorry. Are you holding back laughter? No, I'm not. He's trying so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more now. You don't need to be too upset. When I went there for the first time in the past, I was also tricked by a colleague and took them off. What kind of fucking joke is this? Of like, you gotta take your shoes off. Ah, uh, joke's on you. You got your shoes off for no reason. Uh, sounds like a hazing maybe part of the game. Uh, yeah, they only allowed naked feet in the no convention center. That doesn't comfort me at all. I'm sorry. How do you feel? Why are you asking me that? Your molars might fall out. Relax a bit, a bit and tell me. You know, I also have a really tight jaw, honestly. It's a terrible way to hate someone. Super weird. I can't believe Jenny deceived me. I don't like that she's saying, I can't believe Jenny deceived me and she has like a smile. It kind of takes me out of it. There's a reason why she's your friend. Now go back to your seat quietly and wait until we've arrived. I don't know why, I, is this a Boston accent I'm doing? What is this accent that I'm dro dropping into? We still have uh, three more days to go. Three more days? That's a terrible uh, as the smell of a spotted shiitake mushroom. Okay, y'all. It is a slow start here. Little Witch in the Woods. I'm not a big fan right now. Train crew, I like this otter guy. Up ahead is the train, the engine room. I'm an attendant of Bright, Mar Bright Man Railroads. I tried to warn you. It's a Bostuculan accent. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you're right. Now, play for it. How much more of this should I play? Is it all gonna be like this? Can I get to more, um, because I do know there's like game, like more traditional gameplay elements. Like, should I see through to that part? Like, I want to make sure I get like a good feel still. I love the otter, yes. My job is to ensure the passenger's comfort and safety. Up ahead is the engine room. The otter is very good. Oh wait, okay, I already read this part. Small talk is forbidden during operation. Mm. Up ahead is the engine room. Okay, I can't ask about the boots anymore. Yeah, what is this Tarantino train? Yes, I don't I don't like it. I love the sprite work though in this game. I think it's very, very cute. Well, up ahead, is this up ahead? Up ahead is the engine room. Okay, which way is the engine room? How is small talk forbidden? You know, some jobs are like that, man. These toxic ass jobs. Okay, I'm trying to go this way. Here it goes. Can I go down this? I'm a little confused on where the engine room is then. Maybe I can't get to it yet. And also, what do I need to be doing here? So let's see. What is my objective here at this point? All right, now have some, pa some patience and stay seated. Ugh. Oh, I did it. Oh, okay, we're done with that part. I'm bored, but you just said, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing at my own like bad mashup accent. I don't know why I feel like the hat talks this way, 
but you just sat down. <laughs> this is torture. Stare out the window if you're so bored. <laughs> okay. Yeah, look outside. Look at that mountain. It must be hiding a cave within a strange, with strange pillar, statues, and a giant door. Also, not sponsored, but these um, gummy bears are really good. They're Albanese. Like, we got them at Target, and they're, like, really delicious. When you uh, walk around, it piqued my interest. Okay. I think we're close to that part. Please tell me they're not sugar-free. I don't think so. Um... No, they totally have sugar. 14 grams of sugar. I don't even know how to ask you more about that question. You're doing a jig up of making the hat sound sassy. Sounds like the prologue to a story where you awaken a terrible demon. I also don't really like the meta angle they're taking for elements of this writing. Where it's like, we're in a flashback. Like, I don't really like that aspect. Um, so, yeah. With me on all my judgment stream, Eddie had me do a vampire accent for a character one night. That's really good. That's very good. Wait, hold on, Virgil. Shut up and look out the window at the summit of the mountain. There's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree? Why is it shining? Does it have luminous flowers? It must be beautiful close up. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. <laughs> oh, I want to get out now. I hope we crash, what the fuck? What the fuck is this writing? This is such an unhinged series of dialogue. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, I, it's a lot to process y'all. I'm, I'm processing it with you with the, there's elements of this writing that I think are really fun and punchy, but then there's shit that's just like, what the fuck is this? Like. You didn't need to be that deep. Okay, do they have gelatin? I don't know how to find that out. Um, hmm. I don't know offhand, to be honest. Um, I like that. You like the unhinged? It's a little too unhinged for me. Um, after all, you signed up for three years of even more boredom. Aren't there any uh, Croco fans nearby? Nope. What about boa constrictors? This isn't a jungle. Train robbers? This isn't the Wild West. It's a healing game, remember? I <laughs> Hey, a boa constrictor. The correct line is, what's going on? There's no station here, why are we stopping? I'm not sure. Maybe, <laughs> maybe there's something wrong with the train. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't care if it's not a bow constrictor. Please just say there's some massive critical issue. Please, please. Please. We apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue, perhaps? The train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. Yes. Attention, the train will stop until tomorrow morning and the departure time. Can we go outside? We'll likely be announced tomorrow. We will depart immediately She's if possible. Joking. How? Everybody is joking now. The clock's run out. Time's up. Over. Blau. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes rabbit. He choked so mad, but he won't give up that easy. Nope. It goes back to his moat. But home, that's when his back to the rose has to get back to the sun. Better go fast and no, no, no. You better lose yourself in the moment. Just don't want to show. Okay. But okay, seriously though, Eight Mile is such a good movie. Eight Mile's real good. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Oh, in the meantime, pl please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go! D yeah, the DMCA strike. <laughs> I'm not sure if you remember, but... Of course I remember, the shining tree is at the peak. No, not that. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. We should get going. Wow, it's so dark. Oh, thanks for the follow, Flying Fist of Judah. I appreciate it. If you're scared, we can go back to the train. I love it. Let's hurry. Okay, um... 
We can open the memo board by, I think, clicking the right stick. Oh, I, I like that. I like having that option. Nice little pop out. I also like the um, the hat being illuminated. It kind of helps you see your character a little bit easier. We love an auto save. Sorry, you can't go beyond here. There's something in the trans path. We're working on getting out of the way. Something's in our way. Is it a bow constrictor? A bow constrictor? No, it's a strange prickly vine. A strange prickly vine? Yes, a prickly vine. It wasn't there yesterday, but it seems to have grown overnight. We can't seem to cut it down with the regular axe, but we're doing our best. We've contacted the witches, so I'm sure they'll be here to help in no time. Can I take a look? I happen to be a witch. You're a passenger. It's our responsibility to make sure you're safe. <clears throat> we'll take care of it, so please be patient. Can I just take a peek? I'm sorry. All right, uh, let's try to go up this way, maybe. It's a hill. It won't be easy to climb. Look over there. Uh, there are vines hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. That's bad news. Okay. There's a secret passageway, Virgil. I don't think it's a secret or a passageway. I bet there's a path beyond here. Beyond. It's very dark. But it is nighttime. I haven't seen the movie in a while, but I remember it being good. And that song is fire. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, J. Ma, thank you for the clip. I appreciate it. Uh, what's this? <clears throat> look, lo looks like little honey pumpkin. Looks like a little honey pumpkin. I said beyond a work call today. Yeah, it's you got to. What's that? It's a type of weed that grows in the forested areas. The vines grow so fast that you can never get rid of them by hand. There also are a few typos. You can get rid of the by hand, that by hand. But yeah, it's, it is, does feel very early. Uh, you must find you must find the nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. What's that? Then I guess we can also get rid of this if we find the nucleus. Also, there's again with the music. There's no music here. We need a little, a little bit of music just to get a sense of the the, the ambiance, you know. Um, or just return to the train quietly. That can't happen. Let's go look for the nucleus. It must be nearby. Since the nucleus gives off light when you touch the vine, you'll be able to find it. Okay, this is like remove something. You can temporarily get rid of vines with weed terminator potion. But they'll grow back after a while. It's also like little stuff. Like it's odd that the her speech bowl is just open with no text in it. And then it just populates. Then what do I do? Find the core. It should be somewhere near the vines. I will say again this early on in a game um, that that's this early access. You know, um... That stuff doesn't irk me quite as much because I'm like, okay, that's, that's a, it's, I mean, it will take time to remedy those things, but it's not like a, you know, horribly tough edit, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, I can enjoy the game and see what the ideas are, are of the game without, like, this being changed, like, it's not that deep. Uh, but they grow back after a while. Then what do I do? Find the core. It should be somewhere near the vines. Okay, I am actually a little confused, though. Okay, so find the core should be near the vine. So I have to find the core, I guess. Somewhere near the vines. I'm going to say download a Fortnite. Uh, does it... Did you mean it when you said all gamers should try it? Yeah, I absolutely, I, I absolutely think you should at least try it. Um, we're going to play it later, uh, Ash, as well. Um, so definitely see what's up with that if you want, like, a... A crash course. Uh, I don't know if you're available to also, like, play and stuff in Discord, but... Um, yeah, like, I feel like I learned a lot about, like, some base stuff from Fortnite by just playing with other people. But the general concept is pretty straightforward. Um, and for me, it's just a lot about learning, like, what some of the items do. Now, here's the thing. I'm kind of confused on what I do here. I said I have to find the core to get rid of the vines here. I see something shining to the left, and I wonder if that's it. I don't have one of those. They're a tutorial. Um... Might do that now and set up an epic account. Activate the vines. Activate the vines and pay attention to what changes. Okay. You can set up my energy, yeah. Okay. Wait, is this activating the vines? Is 
Is me crawling up the vines activating it? I feel like I just zoned out or something when I... Yeah, it's activating the vines. I don't see anything change. Let me look again. I'm obviously missing something. Go back up. I don't didn't see anything change. So it is gonna be up here at the top. I don't see anything change. It's right next to those vines, the ones up there. What? Sorry, I bet this is super frustrating because I know you know what to do, but it's right next to those vines. I'm screaming. Yeah, I know. Like, I, I'm so sorry. I just do not know. Is there something here? Is it up on the second level, though? It is on the second level, yes. Like, what? Hold on, okay. Okay, they grow back on what, what do I do? Find the core. It's right next to the vines you're pulling. Oh, is it like here? No, that's not right. Oh. Oh. Okay, I that took a that took a lot out of me. Great it's time to explore. Please don't use the word explore. That word gives me anxiety. No thanks to your mother. Okay, that took a lot. Yeah, that was lighting up real bright when you were pulling the vines. I did not know notice it at all. Um okay, sprint. Okay, we can sprint. Can be running. See a little arrow here. Not sure what that's signifying. We have these. That's cute. Okay, they brought the music in, which is nice. We have these like little bell flower things. I'm shocked, to be honest. I think also it's a lot darker on my screen than it is on stream. But also, I just didn't notice it. I didn't even notice it when you, like, pointed out where I had to go. So I feel like there were some problems there. But yeah, this song's pretty cool. Okay, but choir. We got a branch now. The shining trees at the peak of the mountains, so go quickly if you want to see it. Okay. We must return by tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go to that top of the mountain then. Yeah, I will say, so far from, you know, and I'm very early, but it's not, it doesn't leave the best impression. So, yeah. It's too dark and worn down for me to see anything down there. I don't see any words, only pictures. Let's come back when it's brighter. Do I have the right chalk? I could see this having, like, a lot of potential, though, and, like, I liked the overall premise of the game. The shine tree is at the peak of the mountain. Okay, so I guess I'm not going the right way then. Oh, let me uh, run. Run in, run in, keep running, run in. I got a crayon apple. Okay, wait, where is the peak of the mountain then? Like, I came from this way. Is it gonna be. Oh, here it is, I think. Right? We're going up. A mountain. That's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. The leather gets worn out from all the wind. Okay, I think we're making good progress. We're going up. I know I was something reminds me about Spirit Fair, but like with 10% of the charm. Yeah, like I, I love the art. Um, and I like the idea, right, of being like a apprentice and like going to witch school. Like that very much appeals to me. Um, I think the OST has some potential, too. Like, I'm liking this track a lot. But... I am not really sold on, like, the general, like, personalities that are shining through in this game, in terms of both Ellie and her hat. Why are so many things blocking my path? This must be... 
This must be a forest with many secrets. What's this? Looks like a barrier made with a witch pattern. Witch pattern? Is there a witch here? There was, or do you know how it works? School hammered into my head. Shouldn't be an issue, as long as it's drawn out. I think, too, like, yeah, uh, like I was saying, the, the tone is a little bit awkward for me. Oh, it's great. How dare you? I am not a big fan of just like, you know what else, too? I don't like the, it's a little too meta. I know it's the opening of the game and some people like that thing and they think it's kind of funny, but like, I am not a big fan of it being like, this is a game. Welcome to the game. Yeah, I like the personality of Ellie. All right, well, I'm in the minority then. Uh, this seems like a whole lot, like a podcast game, just to breeze through and try to focus on something. Take it or leave it. Just give me the hat. <laughs> Like, I think it's, we're early though, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot more to go. Wow, it's a, it's the gigantic shining tree, the same one we saw from the train. This is a bit of grape tree. <laughs> Janet, a minority? I don't buy it. I know, right? Um, so many layers to unpack there. I also don't like the, this is a game stuff either though. Yeah, but I imagine they're gonna back up off of that once they get further into the game. This is a bit of grape tree. I don't think the tree is the one that's shining. Check this out, Virgil. There are a ton of butterflies on it. You're right, the butterflies seem to be glowing. These are blue moon butterflies, and butterflies give off a subtle moonlight. The light from these butterflies has the same power of act as actual moonlight. That's why strange things always happen around these butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? A giant tea tree with butterflies glowing with moonlight? Hey, fanboy, thank you for the raid of the party of 17. Welcome in, raiders. Uh, my name is Jan Garcia, aka Game Onesis, and this is our Friday stream where the theme always is Best of 2022 Watch, where we play the latest games in search of the greatest games. Uh, how was Fuser? That was like a, was that last year that Fuser dropped or two years ago? Um, how was Fuser going? Were we all mixing and mashing up? Uh, but yeah, today we played a little bit of Roller Champions and Blessing Adio Jr. of Kind of Funny slash. The internet um, joined us for that one. And now we're playing Little Witch in the Woods, which is a game that dropped on Game Pass and is currently in early access. Um, we're going to play for a little bit longer and then switch to uh, Floppy Nights, which also just dropped on Game Pass um, 2020. Yeah. Also, a shout out to Fanbyte, especially because if y'all don't know Fanbyte, you need to get to know Fanbyte because they are consistently putting out um, really cool, unique, genuine content. Um, and I think they do a great job at giving creators and writers and podcasters a good platform to do their stuff like i've heard nothing but good things about fanbyte in terms of working at fanbyte i'm a fan of the work that comes out of fanbyte um so yeah if you're not paying attention to fanbyte go give them a follow on twitter go check out what they have going on um i promise you will find something or someone to love who is associated with fanbyte so yeah hit up fanbyte uh this is an, a pretty magnificent discovery did you know of though that those Two are rare creatures. <laughs> I'm doing weird accents for this, just to deal with it. Yeah, Lisa Natalie. Yeah, just to name a few. Danielle Rando out there. I feel like I messed up Danielle's last name. Danielle Riando. Like when they got Danielle, I was like, it's, oh, like they they constantly are like getting really dope talent. And I think that speaks to what they have to offer. That so many amazing writers and creators are heading to Fanbyte. Like Fanbyte stays winning. I remember her from Waypoint. Yeah, yeah, Danielle from the Waypoint days. It's when I first encountered Danielle as well. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, the final, the final fantasy 14, the, the Roman numerals, that took me a second, 14 content has been bonkers, um, which is such a good combination of both stuff that has a lot of SEO juice, which matters when you run a website, um, but also like heading up people that are really passionate and knowledgeable about that content, like it's insane. What about those two being together? They're usually raised together artificially to get moonflower in Lucerine or Rutu. It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. Um, anyway, we did find something, right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex, all right? Just don't be late. Is that on Switch yet? I don't think it is, but I gotta look it up because I don't know. Um, this is still an early access game and it definitely does feel like an early access game. It is only on Xbox and PC right now, but again, it is available through Game Pass, so check that out if you can, if you're interested in the game. Uh, right now, honestly, this early on, let's go up the way we came. There might be some other strange things. Um, honestly, from this initial splash into the game, I don't think I'll get a wake of sleep on the train. I wonder if there's anywhere I can sleep for tonight. 
What about the ground? The dirt and rocks should make a nice bed. That's not funny, Virgil. Look, the blue moon butterfly we saw is at the peak here too. You might as well collect some for study purposes. Um, you think I could sneak up and grab it? Wait, do you remember what Mr. Gravier said? Death lives under the bed. No, not that. Draw it before you touch it. That's right. Which is Encyclopedia and Quill? Press and hold, um, I guess like the D-pad, right? To use the Quill button to draw. Once the gauge is full, a drawing will be complete. There's another game, remind me, that does like drawing in a way where it's like you hold it down and then you sketch it. I cannot freaking remember what game does sketching that way. Um, but yeah, Roller Champions, um, it was fine but a little monotonous in uh, the kind of gameplay it is and the lack of like modes. And of course, Ubisoft seemingly often struggles with how to monetize in a way that feels like I'm still getting meaningful progression and that I'm interested in even like spending money on some of the things that you get. Um, so that was cool. Uh, this one, again, not loving it. Um, I don't think it's a great first showing of it, but I might be, Concrete Genie, yeah, that's, that might be the one I'm thinking of. That might, that might be the one I'm thinking of. Mark Echo's getting up. I don't think I've played that one, it's not that. Uh, but this is not out on Twitch yet. I don't know when it'll make its full release. Look at that animation though. So, so far, here's here are the glows and grows for this game, right? A glow is something good. A grow is something where you have room for growth. I think the glows are the OST when they do bring the music in, which is not often enough. Um, the uh, animations slash art, the general um, concept of the game, I think are all really good. Grows, um, I think the writing, I know you guys kind of like the writing. I feel like it's, it feels a little uneven to me. Like I don't, I don't think there's a consistent tone and I feel like it feels stiff. Like I feel like they were like, we want this certain tone and the way they executed it felt a little heavy handed. Um, it's also like, I mean, we're early, but it's very dialogue driven, which isn't necessarily bad, but I feel like I want to get more into it. And it's taking a while, a slow start, I guess would say for the grows. And also three, the, the story is also very confusing. They throw you in like mid conversation and it's not something that I find super appealing with how they did it. So, okay, cool. So they have like the Critterpedia basically. Not that Animal Crossing owns having encyclopedias, because a lot of games have encyclopedias. Right, it's registered in the catalog. Let's see. Now do you see why you can't catch any right now? Oh, um... Let me see, why can't I catch any right now? Sensitive to sound. Tool? You can collect them using a butterfly net. I don't have one right now. Not much you can do then. Okay, good. Speaking of Pixel Opus, curious to see if... Oh man, that would be really cool. But I want to do it right now. Alright. Getting to the witch's house in High Lion is more important. Hmm. Let's go back down. There's got to be something else that's fun. I guess we'll just go all the way down. Retrace your path, okay. I really like the um, sort of bar they have for your um, quests. Like, look at how good that drawing and that sound design is right there. Oh, wow. Ellie, let's go back to the train. Look at that, Virgil, a shining white cat. I've never seen anything like that before. Ellie, we have to, let's go after that creature. Okay, so this is how we end up like dying, basically. Or whatever's gonna happen to us. I too would be chasing a cat, like that, like that. I do kind of like how childish and apathetic the little witch is. Yeah, like it's definitely, like I said, everyone else seems way more into the witch's personality than I am. I think the cat dropped this something and left. What's this? Looks like a witch shock. That thing you use to draw things like a pattern? It looks a little different from the ones we use in school. It's just a different packaging. This witch seems to have 
This witch pattern seems to be erased a bit. It won't work if it gets erased like this. You can draw the pattern again using the same colored chalk. Since I have the one I just picked up, let's draw it again. Should I draw the witch pattern again using the white chalk? Yeah. All right, I drew the pattern again. Ooh. Huh, where did the cat go? Look, Virgil is a house. That's a witch's house, isn't it? It looks pretty old. I guess we can talk to the master witch here and stay for a while. It doesn't look like there are people inside. If there's no one, I might stay for a while. Isn't it natural for an apprentice witch to be at a witch's house? That's true, but... Well, I'm trying to actually... I wouldn't mind taking a nap here, maybe later. Anyone there? Is anybody there? Seems like nobody is here. It could be a, an abandoned witch's house because the witch administration can't figure out everything. All right, let's go inside. Oh, look how cute this house is. Look how cute this house is. I will say it feels uneven, but I also wish they'd started with her outside the train after it had to stop. Yeah, like there's like a couple things that are like, uh, I said for, um, Chia since Pixel. Oh, really? Also, how do I say that game's name? Is it Chia? Is it Chia? Is this like an Atlier game or a, Witch a Little Witch Academy? It's more like <sighs> maybe the first one because it's like you're an apprentice, but you're like. Like, I just had a witch school, and now I'm like, it's kind of like you're doing the internship after witch school kind of thing. I don't dislike her attitude, but if your character can't be bothered to care, neither can I. Yeah, like, I don't... I think she cares about, like, I want to get there and do my shit. But, yeah, like, it just needs to be, like, kind of, like, evened out for the pronunciation. Like, Chia, okay. ch ch, -ch chia you remember that little thing? I think they still have Chia pets. Uh, it really is an abandoned witch's house. It really is an abandoned witch's house. <laughs> Taking that into consideration, it looks okay. Although it's not that clean. Since the witch's house is managed her on her own, it doesn't seem to be in very good condition, considering how dirty it is. But the bed looks fine. I guess I can just sleep here. Uh, well, since the witch's house isn't a public institution, it's okay to sleep one night or so. And it's better than sleeping outside. Stamina actions, uh, such as collecting or sprinting, use stamina. You can recover stamina by eating or sleeping. House is a bit messy. We'll just sleep for one day. Who cares? Well, I kind of wanted to clean up, though. Oops. It will be in 23, so I added a new list to GG. Yeah, I want to change that over to for me as well. Um, What's with that face? You slept on a nice fluffy bed. Yes, but I dreamt that I was sleeping on the train. All that effort not to sleep on the train. Just to, only to dream just like that. You should have just slept on the train. No, that's not it. I slept very well, actually. I can almost hear the sound of the train, though. Wait, isn't that actually the sound of the train? Wait, really? Is it taking off already? Let's hurry. It really is the sound of the train. I think it's about to take off. Let's hurry back. I woke up just in time. Glad I didn't sleep in. Oh. I had to draw them. They're so cute. Oh my god, that's very cute. Okay, I'm, I'm warming up a bit more now. Played for it, definitely nailed it with like, yeah, the train part, I think is like the least compelling. How the frick do I get back though? Down here? Thank god. Don't leave me. Huh, where's the train? I thought the bird was imitating the train sound. Oh, but where's the train? It probably went to High Lion. Then what do we do now? Let's look around the area. I'm sure we'll find some clues. Why are you so calm? I've been through much worse with your mom. I think it is cute, the idea of this, um, this hat kind of having been my mom's hat and then passing that down. I also think the bird sounding like the train is genuinely funny. Like, I think it's a cute little, like, um, what's the word? Not misleading, but like, not trick. I don't know. It's like, a. Not illusion, but I mean like a subversion almost, I think. All aboard. Yes. Subversion. Yes, I like a good subversion. 
It's called the Gaga Bird. No, 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 come on. No, oh, that's not actually. Hold on. That's not Lady Gaga. Who is that? That's Rihanna. I don't know why I've, I've, I fucked that up real bad. Poker face, I guess, would be a lady, quick Lady Gaga reference. I just couldn't do I just couldn't do it. I just fucked it up. Let's just, let's just continue on. <laughs> Misdirection. That's actually an, an, the word I was thinking of. It's a version also works. Um, Quiet. I don't want to hear it. It's your own fault for all sleeping. Don't blame the Gaga bird. Bad romance. Yeah. Bad romance is probably a, a better one. Fine. Whatever. Just be quiet. A letter. How nice of them to leave a letter behind. Let's see. I think it's from the bartender on the train. You're probably shocked to see that the train is gone. A witch suddenly appeared in the middle of the night and got rid of the prickly vines. They said they can't wait because the train was already delayed, so we had to leave. But don't worry, the train will come back, and there's a village nearby where I used to live. You can just spend some time there. It should be a sign in the forest, so take a look and go find the village. When you arrive at the village, please send e Knight and Arden my regards. Uh, chromatic kind of sleep uh, slept on, uh, to be honest, to hit before the beginning of COVID. Yeah, I haven't caught up with like Lady Gaga. I haven't really listened to like a, a Lady Gaga album front to back, I don't think. Uh, Lady Gaga's freaking jazz stuff was really good though, and she's like a professionally trained jazz singer or anything. So she can do some like really crazy shit. Bar heart tender. So there's a village, Virgil. Are you even a little upset that I missed the train? There's a village nearby, but I can't imagine where it would be. We explored all the area quite a lot yesterday. It was probably too dark to see. Let's look for it again. See, there's a sign as well. How about cleaning the witch's house? We might have to stay there until we found the village. Okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to sound so excited. We missed the train, remember? You heard me, right? Well, then I might uh, add more to my encyclopedia. Yeah, I might have to check those out, many face stuff. Okay, I like this aspect of it now. Again, the art is fantastic in this. There's a lot of charm there. Okay, I'm, I'm warming up to it now. I'm warming up to it. I think Roller Champion, you know, if we're just kind of comparing games, I think Roller Champions is a better game than this game so far, but this game is a little more intriguing to me because of my tastes. Can I do anything with these guys? <gasps> oh. I can get a little fur from them. You can squeeze the babies. Look at the babies. I'm just gonna take the stick. I don't really know what the. It also feels a little bit laggy. Like in the like the input feels a little bit off. Just a little bit though, not too crazy. Okay, that we can't go to. Okay. Sign for the witch's house is different from what I'm used to. It's because it's old. It's because it's old. Let's get rid of the weeds first. There's so much. We take forever to pull out using hands. Take a look at the bin over there. It might have a potion to get rid of the weeds. Um, there's nothing in here. We have to use another tool. Another tool? Yes, there's a wonderful tool. What's that? Your hands. Ah. Uh. Let me see. I mean, it's okay. It just feels kind of like slow. You think? I don't think it's quite full on lag. Like it takes a while to do stuff, you know? Okay, I'm good just cleaning this up. Look at us go. <laughs> oh, that bartender song by T Pain stuck in my head. Okay. I'm curious as to what they feel like they need to make the full release of this game. I will say, too, like moving around, you have to be like kind of in a really specific spot to um, get everything picked up, which is kind of rough. Um, 
clean up a little bit more right here. Like when I turn with the joystick, like I'm not in the right spot. I have to kind of like go forward and then come back after. Okay, I got rid of all of them. It's nice to see that it's clean. Now it's time to tidy up the house. All oh, right. Look, Ellie, it's a quest mark. All I see is a dusting cobwebs clean up. Exactly. Let's find something useful while cleaning. I wonder where the witch is, the one who lived here. This place is probably very old. She must be eating and living well somewhere in Lucerine or two. Or you or something? I don't know. Um, okay. Oh, ooh, also, oops, Blessing isn't here anymore. I can change the title. There we go. She really messed up the house. It reminds me of your room. My room was cleaner than this. That might be so from a dust standpoint. It's a witch's bookshelf. Technically, it's a bookshelf that the witch was using. That's the same as a witch bookshelf. I'm not going to read the books, though. I'm tired of books. A poisonous mushroom is better than a witch who doesn't read books. What does that mean? Because a poisonous mushroom kills just one person. Stop nagging. I read enough books at school. Hmm, witch history, the 12 plants, fun book of plants, gardening for witches. There are so many books on plants. I guess a witch who used to research plants was living here. I should store any books I get in here. Oh, it's a notebook. It does seem like the... And remind me if I'm being a little bit off here. Because I only played a little bit of Stardew Valley. Um, the stamina reminds me of that. Where it's like you kind of run out of stamina kind of quickly. And you kind of need to keep replenishing it. Do you ever feel like these indie games that voice actors could be much better if they had it? Um, sometimes. But usually if I want voice acting from an indie game, it is because there's just like a lot of text. Um, this one doesn't have that level of text but um i mean voice acting is always appreciated if you can afford it but it is very expensive to get full voice acting um the voice acting in hades 2 is also like really good um no offense to other voice acting in games but like i think they really knocked it out of the park with the voice acting in that game bringing the characters to life in a big way um yeah but that was definitely a differentiator it's also messy in front of the desk over here. All done cleaning. Stop bossing me around like a teacher. I finally managed to get out of school. There's some dust over here. Don't let any food behind. I told you not to go inside the principal's office, Ellie. I, you should have listened. Oh, this is a witch elevator. That's why you have to listen to, your te to the teachers. Let's hurry up and go down. What if there's a scary monster? You think so? Oh, I'm so excited. Wee. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, look at this, Virgil. This must be the dispensary. You can probably make potions with proper tools. You, We should definitely do some cleaning. Wow, cleaning again. I know what this is. It's an, ext it's an extractor. We used it so many times at school, but it was slightly a smaller one. It would be hard to use. Look at the glass bottle underneath. Oh, that's true. It's broken. It'll. I'll need a friendly toad at least. I'll uh, need to get a glass bottle first in order to use this. You need at least you need to at least fix the extractor in order to make potions. All right, let's go to the village first. Let's look for one. I want to finish cleaning this up though, to be honest. The roaster. I used to hate this thing. I have to put in the ingredients and just wait. It's awful. Can't you simply put them in and do something else while you're waiting? It seems to be in bad condition. However. Really? Oh yes, there is no handle on the wind winding spring or something like that. Where would I get a roaster handle? I don't need the roaster since it's not needed for basic recipes. There should be something you can get to the village. Yeah, the village comes first. By the way, there's nothing normal here. It would be rather strange to be normal when it's dirty like this. Oh, thanks for the follow. Ham One Man. Great name. Uh, agreed, Love and Weird West right now, and there's a bunch of reading. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think Hades devs have always had VO, uh, at least Bastion. Yeah, they might have been, uh, it might have just been a big prioritization uh, for them, but it is very expensive. That's like the main reason places don't have VO or games don't have VO because of the, the price. Uh, wow, this is a pretty cauldron. I think it made 
I think it was made by the Blue Lightning Workshop. It's a style, very traditional. I've only used cheap cauldrons in school. I finally get to use a good one. Do you remember how to use one? Of course. Expertly processed ingredients, the exact heat intensity, and the right ladling technique. At last! At last, you'll end up with a proper potion. It's starting to warm up. It's starting to warm up. You know, we're getting going. I actually like the teacher, Olivia. Still, the cauldron looks fine. You'll be able to make a potion if you have the ingredients. The machine tools are in bad condition, though. Since there are some discarded ingredients, let's make the potion we need using them for now. Spilled bottles, scribbled paper, and a book? What a mess. Just brush off the dust. Just brushing off the dust might take a lifetime. What's this? Lunar's oil? It looks like a recipe for a potion. I guess it was used by the witch who was here. It reads a potion with the power of the moon. The ingredients are moonflower and phoenix feather. Only very expensive materials are used. I'll use it someday. Let's have it ready for now. There's also something underneath. Where? Oh, you're right. Um, I don't know what kind of text this is. You learned it at school. It's the ancient witch language. You mean I learned how to read those strange symbols? Your score wasn't bad either. I don't remember anything. Should we take a look anyway? Um, looks like a recipe. It seems like moon something. I have no idea. I got a headache. Take a look if you remember it later. Unreadable memo. An old memo in an unintelligible language. I think I learned language a while ago, but I can't remember. Um, I hate to say it, but the game is fucking weird. The vibes are off air. Yeah, I like Weird West. I have to finish it still. But I, uh, I really enjoyed the time I spent with it. Ooh, okay, this coffee is done. I should put it away and revisit it later. This desk would be nice to use as workbench later. I should put this a note about the indigenous influences um, for Weird West. There's no neat use for it now. Yeah, there's some cool stuff with Weird West. I do think the combat is a little rough, but it's also like a stylistic choice, so I'm kind of okay with it. There's a potion ingredient, isn't it? You've used uh, them in school countless times. Are witches usually the sloppy? Sloppy or not, they've, they're have they careful with their ingredients. Then I guess the witch that lived here was really sloppy, or she was in a hurry. Why? Beats me. This box looks pretty useful. I can put stuff in here when my pockets are full. All done cleaning. I think we're pretty well equipped now. We can make potions now, even though it's only half as good since it can't be processed. Let's try to make some stuff that we picked up earlier. Why? What do you mean, why? Why not? I ask because people usually have reasons. Yeah, the comments is my favorite part, but there are some good workshop workarounds via skill and stealth. Yeah, I, I agree. Okay, so... I guess they want me to do this, right? Okay. The weed, yeah, the weed terminator potion. But we already, we already got all the weeds. The dialogue about the boss kind of hurt. Um... I mean, wait, hold on, what did I kick here? Oh, it's, just, it's just the box that has the cables in it. Okay, here's the thing. That's what they are. <laughs> I mean, let's just make this, I guess. And then you don't stir. The recipe is shown in detail on the page to the right. Ingredients are shown here. Ingredients for the process, okay. View the ingredients with Y. Collectibles on the left, okay. Crafting order. Put two squishy... Well, I don't have the extractor, though. Hold on, I don't have the extractor. I don't have the extractor! Wait, can I leave? It's dead simple. Just put two squishy chub fur in the extractor. Easy peasy. How do I add a second one? How do I add a second one, though? 
I thought that they wanted one of these too. Oh god. I'm scared. Fuck it failed, didn't it? No! See, it's one squishy and one flower extractor, isn't it? The combat wasn't bad in Weird West, the aiming was bad. Uh, that being said, I did enjoy using the environment abilities. Yes, I agree. Did I still fail? Like, what happened? Because do I need to put it in the extractor? That's the thing, like... I'm so confused, because the, the extractor is behind me and it's broken, isn't it? Like, it's saying no. I'm also confused, but I can't exit because I don't- the extractor is the thing behind me, it's broken. Maybe they want me to just do something else? Oh, you know what? I don't think I- you know what? I didn't- I didn't do it right. I think it's the wildflower extract, not mushroom herb- herb. I think now it should be- oh wait, no, actually I messed up, I messed up. Yeah, no, it's supposed to be the squishy. It's squishy and the wildflower extract. That's adorable. That is so freaking cute. The stubborn weed extermination point. Yeah, it's really cute. It's a potion for removing weeds. Anyway, it's ready. Let's look for the village now. You must use it carefully since there are no more ingredients. Okay, don't worry. You must throw it at the little honey pumpkin and make sure to remove the nucleus as well. Because weed terminator potion is just a temporary measure. I got it. Okay, can equip it with... Okay. You can save and load from the witch's cabinet on the first floor. Okay. Hey Jen, Solar Rash is currently 30% off. I was wondering if you would recommend it for that price. Uh, the thing is, I don't, I mean, like, and I'm a big believer in not really recommending based on price alone. Like, oh, if it's on sale, like, check it out or whatever. Um, I'll just tell you what I think of it. And then you can decide. Um, I actually do enjoy Solar Ash quite a bit. I like this the feeling of the skating in that world. And I like stabbing things in the eye. And that game is like hella aesthetic. Like, the aesthetics are insane in that game. But I don't think it's that amazing of a game. I think, frankly, the Pathless is, is a better game than Solar Ash. I think me and Bless had those flipped, though, when we did our conversation. So I think look at the trailers and like that act of skating around. If you like, oh, I just want to skate around and jump around cool if you're open to that cool i will say like the music doesn't hit like crazy in that game and like the story doesn't really seem to be doing a lot um and that's like the biggest con that i have of it but it's like it's a solid game i think if you're interested in like skating around and feeling like you're in this cool aesthetic area and vibing out very podcast game like then sure give it a go but if you're like hey i want to just play a game that is good to great is Solar Ash that? I hesitate to say yes. I think the game is fine. It might probably good. You know, if I had to rate it, I probably would get like a three out of five or like a seven out of ten. But also I would definitely the the six out of ten and the two out of five would cross my mind for Solar Ash because I don't I think it's all sizzle and no not a lot of steak, but I like that kind of sizzle. So I do find myself enjoying Solar Ash and I did enjoy it. Um and then if you want to go next level into my thoughts on Solar Ash, you could go to my YouTube channel, uh, which I feel like I still don't have a command for it. I only have a command for my Pen to Pixels YouTube channel. Um, but I did a Let's Play for, I think it was for Best of Watch at one point. Um, let me mute YouTube. Oh, oh no, it's already muted. It's already muted. It is already muted. Okay, hold on. Now I'm just curious if I did this. I think I did, yes. And I called it It's Solar Ash Fun. And I feel like that game is fun to me. 
but it is not like a fire game, um, in my opinion, from the, I don't know, two hours I spent with it or so, probably two hours. So yeah, there you go. Have I, have you sold anything on eBay? I have, I have sold stuff on eBay before. I actually sold my, um, I bought a switch at launch that we sold on eBay to help afford our actual switch. Cause we were really broke at the time. Um, and then I've sold other things here and there. Um, anything you should know. Yeah. So for eBay, a couple things. One, people always like, I mean, they give you best practices and tips in the listing. Um, but one thing you should be aware of is that like, you know, it's always like better to offer, you know, the free shipping, like paying for shipping for them. Um, you can do, um, auction if you prefer and stuff, but then keep in mind that you risk, you run, you run the risk of not getting as much money as you would. And then for coming up with the price, I would type in the item you're selling. So I think you're selling a Pokemon card, right? So I'll just put like Mega Charizard holographic, right? Or whatever the fuck. I know it's not that. And then I'd click on sold slash completed to see what has this item sold for in the last, you know, few months or whatever. And then I would, that would, I would use that to help base my pricing and then just kind of decide, you know, what you want to do with it, how much you want to part with it for. And that's kind of it. Um, also be ready to, again, with to, to deal with like the shipping costs, like getting a little envelope, getting a nice like protective thing. If you're selling a card, definitely like look into like how you need to package that you know, to sell it appropriately. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and there are ways, I think the last time I tried to sell something on eBay though, like the person got it, but then they didn't pay me and I kept paying them to pay me and they never did. So like that just, but that's fine. Cause like I saw the item, like it's not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, it's like pretty simple. If anyone else in the chat, yeah, has, um, anecdotes from eBay as a, um, seller, you know, feel free to chi chime in about it. But it wasn't like they were trying to scam me cause it like eBay, like, tracks all of that on like did the, was this payment completed like they'll kind of auto do all that stuff for you um so yeah but that's just like i don't know not a con but just like an anecdote from the last time i sold on ebay um but yeah it's pretty it's pretty simple i feel like it's pretty uh user friendly and they auto populate a lot of stuff too um another thing for ebay definitely post a photo of the actual item because a lot of times people will post like generic google photos and i feel like people don't like those as much so I would post a photo of the actual item, even if obviously you didn't maybe open. Well, actually, you did open the card because that's how you got it. But, you know, whatever. Y'all y'all, y'all figure it out. I feel like I look very washed out today. Something about my light. I, I warmed up the lighting, too, but I feel like the lighting is still maybe like up the contrast, lower the. That looks better. I think the brightness through in video was kind of a lot. Anyway, so this was Little Witch in the Woods. Um, let me like go to the little. It is uh, still is an early access game currently on Game Pass, and um, it's like labeled as game preview. So definitely taking things with a grain of salt in terms of the quality of it. I will say, unfortunately for me, playing this, it does not make me excited to play whatever their 1.0 or like main retail release is going to be because there were elements that I just really wasn't into. But I love the ideas behind this game, and I really liked um, the cuteness to it. And I think... That sounds very trivial to some people at its surface, but like that is a very like layered element for me of like it has good animation. It has some good sound design moments. It has like cool, um, you know, the the animation, the general art direction is very like appealing. Like that's a lot of work. And those are things I value on more than just like it looks cute. Like I think they've done a lot of cool stuff with it and with the idea. Again, so far, my biggest con is the slow and awkward start and the writing being kind of uneven um but yeah little wish in the woods let me know what y'all are thinking about this game you know are you gonna check it out are you gonna you know give it a try do you do early access do you just kind of wait for the full release let me know uh what y'all are feeling um and then we're gonna go ahead and switch over now to um floppy nights is gonna be our next game so i'm gonna start queuing that up for y'all floppy nights I gotta get my art. I gotta change my colors over. I wish there was, I love this option that I have. And, you know, again, hosted overlay made by Isaiah. Very cool um, thing. But I wish there was like a way for me to quickly change the colors, like have presets almost. I guess I could ask him and see if that is an option. Cause that would be cool. Okay, so I'm gonna make my palette and this is the stuff I'm doing like off screen for y'all. 
Let me also drink some water. I feel like my voice, my voice is starting to go a little bit. But I don't want to, like, I don't want to drink, like, tea right now, you know? Okay, so... Okay, it's a very green game. So we are kind of taking the L with the chroma key a little bit here. Um, orange is a big color. So Floppy Nights is going to be an interesting one, because this is a game that I think... Ooh, hold on. I want to know who did the art. I know the artist. And by know them, I mean I follow them on Twitter. Oh, gosh. You know what? I feel like I retweeted it recently. The Floppy Night, the Floppy Nights artist is an artist that I follow. And I was like, oh, and that's how I kind of realized that Floppy Nights was out and something that I might want to check out. But I got to find, I got to dig a bit and see who is this person. I follow them on Twitter. I follow them on TikTok. Did I retweet this? Oof. Gosh, I tweet so much that it's just tough to know. Okay. Um, I'm not going to look for that much longer. I'm just a little curious. Who is this person? Do I know them? Frick, I cannot find who this person is. If y'all remember, I think it starts with like an M, like Mar Mar Marine... I have no idea. Oh, yes. Marlo Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Marlo Debbie, I don't know how long I've been following them, but I've been following them for a while, even though I did not. Um, I never played Dicey Dungeon, which they also worked on. Um, but I've followed them for a while, and I either have played some of their games or they've all just kind of been on my radar. Um, let me see. Do they have, like... Let's see, they have work, but they don't have, like, games specifically. I just freaking like their art. Hold on, I kind of want to... I sort of do want to pull up some stuff and show y'all some things. But let me see. I don't want to do too many Inception moments here. So give me a hot second to change to my... Is my main screen going to be my main screen? Okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, that's not terrible. It's not my favorite, but it's not terrible. Okay, so this is me doing my... Hosted overlay stuff, changing things over. But for the artist, um, yeah, this is their portfolio, like, well, website or whatever. They did Dicey Dungeons. They now did Floppy Nights, which we're going to play next. Um, and But look at just this art in general. Is this not, like, freaking cool as hell? Look at this. It's very, like, striking yet playful. It kind of reminds me of an of a to me more interesting a version of like you see a lot of they call it like millennial art like that kind of clip arty look to it for like people like like people with small like heads and like big bodies and it's kind of like flat looking it's like a much more stylized version of that um to me at least that's kind of my vibe on it but look at this look at this Portland Indian Game Squad looks so cool a soft intensity I like that but yeah this is their art um, I think it's awesome. And that's kind of how I had realized, like, what's up with this project. And a few people on my timeline have talked about the game, like, somewhat positively, at least. Let's try to get the... I already have that blue. Let's get this purple or something. Sure. So this will be our palette. And I definitely think the most prevalent color for Floppy Nights... What are we looking at? Definitely the green, but I won't be able to use the green because of the chroma key stuff, Right. Maybe this is green enough that they won't, the chroma key won't care. Probably not. No, damn. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oops, that's Inception. Let's get rid of that. That's scary. That's my captions. Um, I guess just the blue is the next big thing. So let's go with the blue. But yeah, this is a little, little behind the scenes moment for y'all. Um, and then what else do we want? Maybe it reminds me of comic. Uh, called Giant Days, Fun Slice of Life comment. Oh, interesting. I'm not familiar with that one. Um, what else do we want? Maybe, so I think the blue will be the main thing for sure. And then maybe we could do, is the orange the second biggest color? The blue's a really big color. The orange, I think, is the second main color to me. And it'll change in a second. We'll do sidebar. So let's start with that. 
kind of yeah start to get a feel for it um then let's do maybe uh the purple somewhere purple's pretty fun maybe as our um stat not stats bar maybe as our card It's pretty good. It's a little hard to read the text. I feel like a darker color for the stats bar would probably be better. But none of them are quite fully dark. This might be a little darker. Let's try this one. It doesn't really come out blue. Again, I think the blue is a little too close to green for the chroma key stuff. Is there another color in here that we'd want? Uh... I don't know. I guess a, a purple. We don't have purple represented yet. I think the, I think purple is what I had before on the card. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's not it's not the best legibility, but I don't think it's too big a deal. And then um, maybe just a red for the bar, the um, status bar. Maybe that'll be cool. Yeah, it's like kind of it's kind of playful. It's kind of got a, a got a got a vibe to it. Let's see, floppy nights. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty solid. Let me go switch over. Floppy nights, floppy nights. Again, getting a few of these things just a little more automated would be a little a little smoother. Oh wow, it's loud. Okay, I already love it. I already love it. Look at this. Sorry, it's gonna cut off for a second. Let me get let me get up too and kind of stretch a little bit here. I've been working since like eleven o'clock. Hold on, it went too high. Cause I have a cable that will break if I go too high up. Um, very playful stuff. Let me put the volume down for my own headset cause it's, pretty, it's a little loud. Uh, let me give you all the elevator pitch for Floppy Nights as I kind of just do a quick stretch as we change over to our um, final best of game, but not our final game of the night. Cause we are I think gonna end with some Fortnite just for fun. Woof, the light just fell. I need a different like background light setup because this one's not it. Um, but Flabby Nights, uh, this is a um, a deck builder strategy game with a unique cartoon style. Um, and on Steam, what else do people have for the description? The description. Um, meet the Flabby Nights. Tangible projection summoned from floppy disks. Tactics fuse with card mechanics as Phoebe and Carlton, a brilliant young inventor, and her robot arm bestie square off in turn-based battles. Select your knights, hone your deck, and execute your strategy for victory. That is the elevator pitch of Floppy Knights. So uh, let's go ahead and get going on. Do I want to stay standing for this? I might stay standing actually for this game. Let me just change out my color keys over here. And again, I just feel like changing, having to change these little color lights manually is not my favorite thing to do. But I do like how small the lights are. Like they don't take up a lot of space in my setup because my setup is a little bit tight. You know, it's just me between like the shelf. But you know, it's kind of a lot. There's not a lot of space, but also just having to manually do this. Like I love, um, how uh, Play Jason, you know, a streamer that I'm, I'm a fan, I'm definitely a fan of Play Jason's work. I like how he has it where like it auto does it based on these colors. I think that's really, that's really useful. Oh, also Greyhound, what's up? I didn't see you there. Thank you for the um, little emotes. It's a good song, it's a good song. All right, y'all, let's, let's get to it. Nothing to it but to do it. Do it, take your time, do it right. You could do it, baby. Do it tonight. Y'all remember that song? Y'all remember that song? Phoebe, is it complete yet? In just a sec, Carlton. Advanced robotics is, are not simple. 
I have waited an entire week. It only took you a month to make me. Implementing an upgrade for me should only take 30 minutes maximum. 30 minutes? Are your math processes broken? Relax, almost there, just a few more screws and then, all right, you're ready. Ready for what? This, I just finished installing a floppy disk drive on you. So this is interesting because, um, yeah, take your time. Okay. Uh, this is interesting because it actually has a sort of character structure that we just saw in Little Witch in the Woods where, um, I'm sure, sorry, I was, I was double checking in my mind that that was that name of the game, Little Witch in the Woods, where you have a um, main human protagonist and they're sort of like friend. And here it's like the arm robot and there it was the hat. So what does the sloppy disk do? You're about to find out. I put a very special program on this one. Ooh, can we test it out? Sure can, fascinating. Look at that, this little guy. I call him, I call them Floppy Knights. There are tangible projections I made by sequencing elemental magic into the code. They can touch things, grab stuff, and this one's case, kick my tools. Mom and dad are always on me to take on a magic profession, but I keep telling them magic is overrated. Science is the real magic. I was thinking these floppy knights could help us take on odd jobs around town. Let me show you how to use them, Carlton. I'm ready whenever you are. See, and this is a really nice integrated way to do like the tutorialization and the um, onboarding into the world. Because it feel, I'm a big fan of the structure of tutorialization where it's the player character teaching a companion or NPC about the game, but through that, the game is teaching the player about the game. It is one that I very much see through, but I like it. I feel like it works well. Uh, hey Jan, I was watching uh, camp earlier. I can't believe no one thought of Gina Torres uh, for Gaia. Oh, Gina Torres, I have to, I want to Google now because I, I, that's not coming to mind for me. But it's because I'm so bad at names. Okay, okay, okay. I can, I can kind of see that. I can kind of see, that's a good shout out. That's a good shout out. Dusty Greycox looks good. Loading training simulation. You don't need to say loading training simulation for it to work, you know? Correct, it's important to have fun while you're at work. Battle start. This floppy knight is called Succulent Kicker. We'll practice by fighting him with another floppy knight I've made. Meet Captain Thistle. They're a commander unit, sort of like our team leader. Well, I can see their stats right here. HP is their health. If it reaches zero, they'll be removed from the field. Attack is how much they deal damage. Speed is how many tiles they can move. Um, move. And RNG is the distance range uh, that they can attack. To play unit, we select their card with A. Use left stick to highlight the blue deployment zone. We want Captain Pistol and press A. Captain Thistle is on the map. Uh, would be great and just about anything I approve. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good call out. Okay, so he's on the map. You can see their HP at the bottom right corner, five. You know what, too, there's, there's something a little bit like grindstone-y to like this art direction as well. And not like in a, oh, this is gr like fighting grindstone style, but like, I like that element of it. Like these remind me of how those characters look on that game. Like just kind of the outline, the numbers and stuff. Now they're here. Yep, let's use them. Each turn, our commander generates a special card for you, us to use. And we draw five cards um, of our own from the deck. Oh, I get it. Now that a unit is on the field, we can play other cards on them. But we have limited energy each turn. That's why we can see how much energy costs here. Okay, y'all need a, you're losing me because I have a small attention span. Uh, kind of like Slay the Spire. I, have no, I still don't play Slay the Spire, but I'm not, I'm not a card game person really, like generally. So I've been kind of slow rolling my card gaming life here. Um, and then we don't play gets discarded in the turn and will be reshuffled into our deck when we run out of cards. Now let's use Captain Thistle's special card to move, okay. First, select the plow ahead card from the card bar using A. 
then press um, A again. On Captain Zill, play the card. Nice, he's ready to move. Each unit can move a number of tiles equal to their speed stat. Okay. Use the left stick to highlight where you want him to move. Okay. Did he not move here? Oh. There are a couple ways that a unit can attack. See that little sword icon on Captain Thistle? Each unit gets one free attack. Each turn that costs no energy to use. If you see this sword icon on the unit, that means they haven't used their free attack yet. We should press A on Captain Thistle to activate the free attack. You can attack any unit in the highlight tiles. And press A on the succulent to attack. Victory! Notice the sword icon is gone. Uh, which means we used Captain Thistle's free attack. The sword will eventually come back every turn. We did it, Carlton. Nice work. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. We're so powerful. Everything worked perfectly. We should try this out on a real gig. Um, I estimate we are ready to go on a job and make some sick cash. I love when you use human phrases, Carlton. Let's go! That's cute. Mom, Dad. I wouldn't interrupt anything. Your mother and I wanted to talk about how I need to get a job. You told me like a million times. Phoebe, you're 16 years old. You've been shut up here tinkering away at all this stuff for so long. I'm worried about you, honey. I demand you get out there and enjoy your life. Take on some responsibility. Get a job. Damn, yo, I don't. Okay, I don't know the world that they're in, right? That's a lot. When did you guys have your first job? Because I had my first job when I think I was like 15 when I had my first job, but it was like a summer job. I didn't work like a full time or even a part time regular job until I was like old. Too old. It's like you know, you're 16. It's about time you get out there and start applying yourself. Like, that, that's a lot. You might even make a few friends. Freshman year of college. I think 13 or 14. But I did corn detasseling. Yeah, please, if you're comfortable, because I know it's also it's a security question, so maybe you don't want to tell me your first job, but if you're interested in saying first job, would love to hear my first job. Sorry, I ate all these gummy bears. And even though I have the NVIDIA noise cancellation on, I don't want you to have to like hear me eating the gummy bears. Yet everyone say their first job and their mother's maiden name in their elementary school. <laughs> first real job was Chick-fil-A. How was that? Cause like they have really good customer service, but also like, oh, they got like other problems, right? Chick-fil-A, a lot, a lot going on in Chick-fil-A. My first job was when I was a poet. Cause my internship was with like a, um, kind of arts program, so I got to, like, the first time I got paid was for writing and performing poetry, which was cool as fuck. What a cool first job. Um, a shot to me in my life. <laughs> that was a high school, like, internship thing, though. My first job that wasn't just, like, a summer internship, that was, like, an ongoing thing, was probably, I think, teaching. Um, I was teaching middle school, um... English and then I got laid off shortly after because we were under enrolled so they couldn't like fill my position even though they like didn't tell me that shit until after I was sorry fucked um and after that it was a series of like odd job things I did I did GameStop I did a bunch of other stuff but teaching was my first time actually getting out there and and working for real everything else was summer jobs oh and then I guess I should shout out to though my like student job which was not was very chill um, my student job was being a on the campus photographer and writer so again i've had like very hippie shit um so i i like wrote about like stuff like hey we want someone to write up like you know i'll make it up with game studies even though it wasn't that hey we have a game studies course can you like write up a little thing about like what the course is and get a couple quotes from people that have taken the class on like what they liked about it or whatever and i did that my first job was hollister uh the center then the center for m 
muscular skeletal research at my college. That is a big gap difference in style. Very funny if we're gonna catch in, uh, they brainwash it to uh, the my pleasure bullshit. Life was so easy back then. Nice. Um, yeah, yeah, I did study at the library. Work study at the library. Work study at the library, that was, a, that was a cool job. Like on my campus, so that was a nice job to have. Um, I have friends, mom, I have Carlton. Yes, but you built Carlton, no offense to her. None taken. Listen, I have a plan, so I won't have to get some boring job. Yo, this is relatable content, screenshotting this immediately. Um, I'll make enough money. I'll be making enough money by my own place. This part, I didn't, I didn't, I'm not there yet. Buy your own house? Huh, you really do have lofty goals. That's, I like this kind of writing because it's like playing with capitalism and capitalist culture without being like heavy handed. I think that's a good little joke. Everyone else my age is doing it. I can't fall behind. I've made an invention that will help us take on work. I've completed it just in time for uh, the Gadget Cup competition too. If I win first, the first place cash prize, I'll have all the cash I need. The Gadget Cup, that's science tournament. Uh, that's science tournament they hold in town every year, right? Right, and this year I'm finally old enough to compete. We'll make some quick cash if we win. Um, there's some overlap which made me hate Hollister even more. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. You know, having regular responsibilities and people that depend on you isn't such a bad thing. I've been able to use my fire magic to do some smithing for the Toggle Town, and everyone loves uh, her for it. We're always uh, inundated with thank you cakes. We got we have to get a second fridge. Phoebe, we're really proud of how talented you are with this technology stuff, but if this plan of yours doesn't work... Ooh! Yo, I'm fucking screenshotting all of this! You'll have to go work as a blacksmith with your mother, at least until you find something more stable. Damn, yo, this is- this game- I'm screenshotting everything. This is freelance culture. This is freelance culture. Um, I gotta say, I really appreciate how quickly Morbius is getting cult status. Uh, the- they must not be in recession. It's more been time. In floppiness, if everyone can afford houses. Yeah, I was thinking that too, like... Just give me- it's because everyone starts working when they're 12, so... I believe it's you, honey. That conversation was fucking brutal. Hold on, I need I need a Kleenex, so I'm gonna have to step away for a second. I love this world map. Again, um, freaking, um, is it Marlo Dobby? Marlo Dobe? I don't know. I've never said their name before aloud. I've never heard it said except for when uh, Play Forward did text to speech for uh, her name. But it's more than time. Yeah, she look at this art. It's amazing. It's so good. I'll be right back. Okay, literally a few seconds. Also, look at this, uh, I have headphone hair. Oh. Okay. I'm thinking about maybe switching my headphones too. I kind of want a wireless pair, I feel like. I don't know how like good that'll be. Um, technically the first time I got paid, I was selling art at 10. Uh, would write, um, now your hair lo always looks like that, don't even trip. I feel like it's smooshed in. Maybe it is always a little smooshed in, but I don't know. It'd be nice if it was a little off. out. Um, what do we got? What do we got? Oh yeah, also let me extend the chat because I have it, I have the window so small for me that it's like a little hard to see. Okay, there we go. Um, anyone make the, wow, Hollow Knight looks different joke. No, Invisible Man, you are the first. No one's made that joke yet. Yeah, floppy nights, hollow night, it's all it's all just it's nighttime, you know? Isn't there like a song that was like nighttime's the right time for like loving or something like that? Nighttime. It's, I feel like that's a song. Um, but this art, I'm fucking obsessed with it. It is so good. Okay, let's let's go for it though. Cause we still haven't actually gotten into I love love the level select. We haven't actually gotten into like the gameplay yet. We just did the, the tutorial and the opening like stuff. Okay, now I think I'm ready to sit. I think I can sit now. Um, I went from Chick-fil-A, where everyone uh, loves you, to Turnpike for a few months, where everyone hates you. Grew thick skin there. Yeah, um, that's rough. 
Wow, Hollow Knight looks different. No, it's too late. It's too late. It's been said. Also, I kind of want to. I should steal your first redemption play for it. It's so good. I'm gonna get first one of these days too. Also, I let me just de shine for a second. Go on, de shine myself. How's everyone's day been? Also, I feel like we haven't talked about that. Um, my day's been pretty good. Needs is always there, watching, waiting. I have notifications on for the stream though. I feel like I, I can. I can make it competitive, I think. Um, but yeah, the day's been a long one. I mean, it's been going really nicely. But I was totally intended to take a break in between Fortnite on Kind of Funny and my stream, and I didn't really. So it's been like since 11 o'clock, I've just been going. Um, it's been fun though. It's had a good time. And I kind of like, I kind of like this uh, more random movement through these games. More than dedicating like an X amount of time to it. The first video was a crappy temp job with some toxic coworkers. Guess it was a learning experience. Yeah, then I'll do it. So I'll be looking for tomorrow. We're gonna go see the Bob Burgers movies and then come home and watch the first Downton Abbey movie. Oh, it's a movie day. What's up? Working on some uh, emails and class prep, but I'm here. Uh, good to see you, Deans. Make sure you eat. Been a long day. Yeah, um, Isaiah is allegedly, I think, coming back with some food for me. I don't know when he's gonna get back here. No rush, just curious, because I kinda, I don't wanna eat before he gets back. Um. Hold on one second. Did I put the pizza back? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm just letting my brother know what's up for dinner. Um, okay. I had an un- oh no, an uncomfortable interaction today. Questioning something about a policy regarding paid time off, although it was technically involving other programs not me. Very unpleasant, but I guess things applied to her. Okay, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, I'm uh, Kenny UFG. Also, hey, what's up? I feel like you came through earlier and I forgot to shout you out, but hi, good to see you. Uh, this is the first like real bit of gameplay we're gonna get to right here. The job board said meet at this farm in the outskirts of town. I wonder who the client is. It's a freelance game. We love a freelance game. Client, job. Look at us, Phoebe. Soon we will no longer be an unnecessary burden on your parents. <laughs> Jeez, this robot is too much, right? <laughs> we really need to work on your bedside manner. <laughs> Can I help you? Uh, hey, you're the one who posted the job? <laughs> you must be Phoebe. I thought you said there'd be two of you. There are two of us. I'm Carlton, artificially intelligent arm created by Phoebe. Yeah, that's great. Uh, right, what seems to be the problem? It says here on the job posting that you are uh, terrorized by vegetarian goblins. <laughs> Listen, kid, I try to keep it to my farm, but every day those forest goblins are snatching up all my crops. Perhaps we could grow you some more carrots. How hard could it be? That sounds like a lot of work, Carlton. I just need you to keep watch and keep them away from my crops. I love keeping watch. I do not blink to... I do not need to blink, so I'm very proficient at it. Okay, but I'm gonna need some kind of down payment. Um, yeah, this is, a, again, freelancer store. I love it. 70 degrees, loving it. Uh, chill my chest out later. Here. Seeds? I meant cash. What am I supposed to do with these? You can make a lot of money playing those. Now go take care of my goblin problem. Fine. Uh, you better leave a tip when we're done. Carlton, we'll post up over there by the target sighted. What? The goblins, they're right over there. I told you I'm proficient at keeping watch. And check it out, fellas. I don't know what kind of magic this lady's using to make food come out of the ground, but I'm just loving it. Let's fill the bags up. Those little punks, what are you waiting for? Go get them! To win this battle, to feel the enemies. Okay. This card's out to your hand in return. Okay, I think I can check it out. We'll always draw the commander first at the start of every battle. 
Remember what I said? The commander was sort of like our team leader. We can't let the other units take- We can't let- We can't let other units take as we want. But our commander's leader who- Oh, shoot! We can hide the- Any enemy with the Y button. And see the movement attack ranges. Let's keep an eye on our enemies to keep our commander safe. Okay, um... I guess just move. So we get a free... We get a free attack, I think? Oh. And then, can I, like, move again? Can I, like... Mm. Let me see. And what's this goblin's range? Can I, like, move down? Switch cards, maybe? How many moves do I have? How many moves do I have though? I think I have three moves left? Is that like the three, the whatever? Um... You know what? Let's not worry too much about things because we're just learning still. Maybe we'll just line up. Just hold on, wait. Maybe we'll just move this guy down to this corner. Yeah, I think I have two actions left to do. Can I reach this guy from... Nah, I can't. I just like end the turn. Oh, here goes, here goes. Wait, how do I end turn? Hold? Okay. I'm a little bit still getting used to it. Okay. This is great on Switch. Ooh, is it on Switch? I actually don't know. Or is, uh, Floppy nights! Floppy nights! This would be on Switch. Or an iPad. It is... Oh uh, yeah, only Xbox and PC right now. But I'm, I imagine it'll come to other platforms. Okay, so the first thing I can do, right? I can move this guy? No. Can I... Can I move him again? Then can I actually attack him? Or I have a free attack each turn. So we'll see if I can... This will be good. I can hit A and then... Great. Good, you're good. Um. Hey, thanks for the follow. Um. Polychronopolis. Okay, what should I do now? What is- what is, um, flip to reap? Okay, flip this card. We transfer it into a new card. Reap. Attack a unit. Flips to sow afterwards. I'm just gonna flip it and see what happens. Wait, why is this, like... Should I move again? I don't know. Wait. 
wait. Like, should I move him closer? Screw it, let's try it. I'm confused on what this does. What? No, this is, um, Floppy Nights, which it should say. Well, let me know if it doesn't. I'll have to get back in. I think it does. But hopefully it is updated on my thing. I've been updating it throughout, right? Has it been coming? Has been updated? Okay. Yeah, okay, this thing. Great. Um, awesome. I thought I did because I have the... Now that I have OBS, it's a lot easier for me to change that. Uh, yeah, welcome back. Uh, this is Floppy Nights. It's a... Oh uh, gosh, deck build. It's a deck building, sword swinging, tactical adventure with a really cute, like, cartoony art style. Can I, like. Oh, but I'm out of things. Oh no. Okay, so we kind of messed up because now I'm gonna be open to attack. And the thing is, if this guy dies, he's my leader. He's, like, my team leader. If he dies, um, I'm just done for. Okay. Okay, what we can do move unit. And then I think just unit gains plus one attack. We get a free attack. And I think I can also do a regular attack. Okay. And then I guess we'll just end turn there. You can do a lot with like each turn too. Um, okay. So let's see. Can he just make it here? We have one free attack, and then we just need to attack him one more time. Ooh. Can I reshuffle these or something? I guess if I can get if I can get this guy to move. Oh man, I can get him where he needs to go. I can move him two more times though. I don't think he's gonna make it. So there's some terrain, we'll give you bonus to our units. Those forests will give you an extra unit. Oh, that's fun. Hold on. Oh, so close. Wait, this will be good. I can do this. Yay! Okay. Cool. Ooh, giant plushie. Giant plushie joins the party. Just in time for our uh, first victory. Okay. He's boofy. He's very boofy. Okay. All right. You can. You can like mostly still hear me. You know if it's really bad. Boof. Be a big boof. Okay. So this is Bigby Rigby. Give me a second to put the timer. What have I done? This giant plushie joins the party, and he's beautiful. Uh, Jay, do you think Card Shark will be on for Best Of next week? Probably. I imagine so, because I have to look at what's coming out. I think that's probably one of the bigger releases coming out. And I am interested in Card Shark. Okay, there, there we go. It's good, good enough. 
Wow, leave us alone, you stinky losers. Who are you calling a loser? <laughs> you little twerps cut out, those are mine. Oh, the angry ladies here. Hurry up, grab as much as you can, scram! <laughs> and just stand there, chase after them! For sure it's out of the scope of work. Again, these are all, like, very iconic. As if you didn't scare them all, they're gonna be back as soon as you leave. Man, I thought it was gonna be easy. I'm paying you to get rid of the root of this problem. Is that some vegetable humor? Haha, <laughs> nice. Go! Hey, geez, we're going. I played an hour so far and I'm really enjoying it. Nice! Um... For the, uh, the demo comes out in a second. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, I haven't dipped into the demo yet, but I'm excited to check it out. We acquired a card from the last battle. We can add it to our deck here. Okay, again, deck builder. This is the deck builder. Very, very uh, transparent on the heads of the deck builder. Okay, not mad at it. We can add cards to our deck through here. Okay. Cycle, this card is added to your hand of return. On this side are the cards currently in your deck. This has the backpack, the ones you collected so far. Cards will, with a, with the lock on them, are base cards and they can't be removed from your deck. And here is our commander, Captain Thistle. We can switch them out, but with other plant commanders. We can move cards from the deck that don't have a lock icon and throw them in the backpack. Um, our deck must always have a minimum of 12 cards. Let's add Spitunia to our deck now. And bingo, Spitunia is in our deck. It's that easy. Being a strong deck is critical to success, so we can let's do our eyes on cards as we get them. When we're all done, let's head back to the world map. I wonder, does it matter the like order I have them in? Destroy the satellite, win in five turns or less. Woof, man. Uh, they've got little legs, but they can run fast. It's really too bad you don't have super strong robotic legs. Carlton have been over this. I'm not a full bionic woman. But I am so strong. Being a robot is so cool. You should really try it. Good grief. Good grief. Humans say the weirdest things. Phoebe, look. They are using communication devices. Do you think the goblins... There are other goblins they're allied with. Are you saying there are more of them somewhere? Good grief. Let's deal with these twerps. I want to get paid as quickly as possible. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Win this battle. Destroy the goblin satellite. Captain Thistle, go! Okay. Oh, shoot. I start all the way over here. Okay, let's see, um... Reinforcements will arrive, if, okay. But make sure to take out those enemies quick so you don't get overwhelmed. Okay, so I'm thinking... Okay, so if we go to here... Well, they have really, like, wide range. Or I don't know. I don't know. Is this, is this where they can attack me? It seems, it seems they have a lot of range. I don't know. I'm thinking we do... The tough thing is, like, I can't die. Almost. I figured I'd hit this guy because he has a shield. Oh shoot, that's not enough. Okay, um... a waste because I have such like heavy attack. I don't know. 
Um. If you jump into the game, they kind of onboard you through that. It drops you into a game with mostly bots, yeah. Is there no kind of tutorial for the game? Um, yeah, like for Fortnite, yeah, you can't just go. But I mean, I think the only thing you really need to know is that the circle closes. And then when you look on your map, there's like a white circle that shows like, this is the next safe zone. And you want to start moving towards that. Um, and then just kind of keep an eye out for people. Other than that, the only thing that I feel like is a really important thing to know is that there's NPC characters that you like don't shoot them they're not gonna attack you and I feel like that's a little confusing and hard to deduce but everything else is pretty straightforward you know you have guns bombs different stuff like I'm personally still really learning like what the different items do like what do balloons do like what how do I use like the remote bomb well or something but uh yeah I mean I think it's you know last person standing so you can always kind of just be low-key and kind of hide out a bit more it's definitely harder when you're alone because like you're just going by yourself and like it's a little difficult, but, uh, yeah. Okay, so, oh, where do I want to go? I think I want to move out of harm's way, which I'm not sure where out of harm's way is. Oops, I already moved, so it's too late. Oh, I need two actions to do that, though. Okay, I'm gonna end my turn here. Oops, it's, uh, this button. Definitely worried, definitely nervous. Oh, <gasps> no! Oh my god! I'm almost killed already. Wow. Hmm, okay, let's see. Damn, this is hard. Can I like, hide here? Kind of. The only thing I'm not sure is like, do I need to? Okay, hold on, I got an idea. I get a little bonus there, that's nice. Okay, let's see what else we got. Hmm. Shoot, I only have one thing left. Frick. I mean, let's just let's just do this anyway, cause why not? I don't have anything left though. Oh no! This is difficult now, but it's 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 nice. It's fun. Don't hit me now! Frick. Okay. This is like really difficult. Okay. Um. Good, they're dead. I think let's try to get up to the top. It's a long way to go. But then we can kind of start doing some damage on this satellite. Hold on, hold on, how... Let's just move a little bit, maybe? Our final thing. Okay, I don't know. I feel like I'm not doing that well, but we're, we're going. Also, uh, Bigby's time is done. No! What the fuck? This motherfucker is rolling with plus 12. Okay, so... 
there's a lot going on here. There's a lot to unpack. Um, okay, so first up, we're right here. So let's just hit this guy. Um, knock back. Move, destroy this card. Destroy this card is removed from the deck for the rest of the level. Yeah, why not? They're not gonna give me anything else. What the f what the frick? Okay. I don't know what to do here with this. Okay, here's something I could do though. This is like a real bad. I'm in a bad spot, y'all. I'm in a bad spot. Oh, it's been round 32. And I feel like a very that's yeah, it's very solid for a first round. Are you joking? That's that's good. Oh no. Let's do this, and then maybe the the bonus one. And then we can hit for free. Oops. And then I guess we just have to end the turn there. Oh! No! Okay. I should have focused a lot more on the satellite. Mistakes were made. I mean, can we just... Let me just use my free turn to... I still don't know how to... Okay, I sew, but then... I'm confused on this card. Hold on. Oh, I have to move the unit to... Okay. To reap. Okay, I see now. Thank God. Thank God. I did not do that well. I got both the things. I thought I took too long. Okay. Okay. I read the loser here. We're trading the river. Where do you think you're going? I'm looking at them right now. They look stinky and mean. Be advised with caution. Goblins, fall back. How are they there? We're not stinky or mean. We're nice and cute. They've made it personal. Come on, Carlton. We got a job to finish. No matter what, let's stop these veggie thieves and get our money. And a sincere apology, verbally and in writing. Way ahead of you. Also, I like don't have a BRB screen. To be honest, yeah, it's a miracle. Honestly, hey, the a dub's a dub, you know? We made it. Okay. I think. I'm gonna see how I want to do this because I'm not really doing. I need to do like a, you know, I don't have a proper BRB screen. Which let me know if you guys have good ideas for BRB screen. I'm just gonna take a squishmallow or like something and just put it here, and that'll be like my signal.
is your break with different attacks? Yeah, like, what do you mean? Like, like just the same as the chair, but it's just BRB instead? There's definitely one option, a froggy chair, if you will. I kind of want, like, a different visual indicator, though, is the only thing. Like, I prefer to do more than just the chair stream. Um... I don't know. I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys have, have ideas. Um, cool. But I'm back now. Do not take too long. Okay, car I think we're ready to craft some of our own cards. Yeah, I was really- I was knocking on death's door. Cute, and I have 40 coins. Oh, shoot. I did not craft any cards. How do I- let me The chair went backwards. Did we wash them hand- I always wash my hands. Hold on. So they want me to do this one? They're showing me the ones I can do. What's this one do? G units gain max plus H2. Yeah, that looks good. I'm done. Can't wait to add this to my deck. And then I guess we'll just leave it at that. Randomly shuffled? Can I order? I think I, I think they're randomly shuffled. What's this one do? Attack an enemy if this unit is currently. Add cactus juice? Okay. Let's just keep it at this for now. That looks good. That looks good. Oh no. Next one. Boom. Bam, bam. Okay. Level start. Do they head this way? I believe so. I. Oh well. Looky here. Oh dear. That voice. Fancy, you hit thieves. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Snarlton. What are you doing here? Can you see we're in the middle of something? Exactly. Word around this town was you're testing out your new invention for the gadget cup. Now that we're both old enough to enter, Alex and I wanted to set up the competition. We will be beating tomorrow. Unlikely, you two are nothing but a bunch of a couple of copycats. It will be us who win the gadget cops. Alex, you rip off my inventions all the time. Starlton over there is proof. Just observing his inferior monitor display it really gets my goal. Goat? I will have you know, Alex programmed me to be far superior to your obsolete specs. Yeah, prove it. Do long division right now. Alex, will you just get out of here? We're trying to finish a job. Ah, uh, finally joined civilized society and got yourself a job, eh? Are you moving out of your parents' house? Took you long enough. Yo, she's 16! What is this world? Okay. You know, you never accepted the invite to my housewarming party at a centrally located bungalow. It has crown molding. Buzz off. No way, we'll sell this right now. Your crummy little science fair project versus my weaponized slimes. Finally, I'll prove who the best inventor in town really is. No more, Phoebe's is so smart. Phoebe's such a talented engineer. Phoebe has the cutest eyebrows. Get ready to see what it feels like to be second place, Phoebe's. How do you suppose we should proceed, Phoebe? I don't think there's a way around it, Carlton. We gotta kick her butt and finish so we can finish this goblin job. There's no convincing her when she gets like this. Ha 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 Battle start! Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Um, to win this battle, defeat all the enemies. Get to the veggies before the slimes as a bonus. So four plus a shield. If I'm lucky there's also an attack. There is an attack. Okay, great. Moving in before Alex will get extra rewards. Okay, the bonuses, yep. Oops. Okay, 
then we'll do... It's kind of, like, it's kind of a waste, because it's like, okay. Oh, I don't have enough to do that. Let me see what the, um... Oh, they have, like, a long reach. I guess I'll just end it there. Like, I don't know, you know? I don't have two to do this. So I think I'll just end my turn there. Oof. Okay, that was, that was a lot. And more of them spawn, though, is the thing that I gotta be mindful of. Here. I think I can attack and do a. And then I think I can attack the enemy with this one. And then. Still maybe add in. A succulent kicker. We have one thing left. This is a waste if I'm not attacking though. I feel like. Be nice to move though. I cannot so currently. Oh, let me go to the oh I don't have anything actually left, but hold on, let me see something. Okay. I think we're actually kinda good here. Okay. I keep forgetting how to end the turn. It's like with the the window button, not the hamburger button. I really need to get those other units to move up though, because these are like the worst ones to have. You know what I mean? Like, they're the most vulnerable ones. Okay, so let's see. Ahead one, and then the move is sort of be for like. Hold on, let me look at the map and see where. I'm just trying to stay out of people's way right now. Mm. I don't know. Maybe bring this guy down here. Gotta keep him safe, and then we can use those last two to spawn this friend. And then maybe we can move a little. Oh no, we can't move anymore because we ran out of stuff, like actions. Okay, this is cool. I like this. It's cute. It's cute. It's it's fairly simple. Um, yeah, I like this game. This is a solid game. Okay. So now what do we have? We have um. Okay, so I think the best use of my... Maybe moving this guy. He's really strong, too. He's got like... Or what, his attack is like seven or something crazy? Bring him here. Oh, I thought he had more than that. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I have plus three, but... Hmm. 
Hmm. See what these guys are at? Make sure I hide them in the trees, maybe? I think that's kind of it, yep. Okay. Oh, thanks for the uh, follow, Peterman. Appreciate it. Peterman. You know, maybe if I can get him to take out the, the number three one. That's really more of his thing anyway. We put him here. And then we move him here. He can at least do that for free. He's probably in danger though, is the thing. He's gonna need to move somewhere. He's gonna need to move to this middle guy or something. I feel like he can also handle. Ah, uh, maybe he just need to kind of move. But here's the thing here's my question. So he needs to move maybe. I think the clear space is like. Here maybe? Or is it is it here? Is this safe? That's my only thing. Is it safe if he moves here? I don't think it is, right? It doesn't seem like it would be safe, but I'm gonna um, that's how I interpreted it. Maybe that's not right. Can we reap and sow at the same time with this guy? No, I only have reap, because I already sowed. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, we have to just end the turn here. Please don't hit the cactus man. No! Fuck. Oh, but he had a shield. He had a one shield. Okay, cool. But that's what I thought, that I would still be in um, danger, but I wasn't sure that I, would, that I was, so. Okay, so some good news, kind of, is that he can at least hit him for free, but it doesn't kill him though, so that kind of sucks. We could do this. I think that'd be better with this guy, though. Like, can you move to there? No, he can't move that far, actually. Mm. And maybe if we do... Maybe this could knock into this? Oh, you're right. Yeah! There you go. <laughs> like, little factoid. If I knock into this, will it, like... Really? I don't think that did anything. I, like, thought that would, like, bump into each other, and then they would just, like, combust or something. But that did not... That did not go as I planned. Okay. He has one health. I think we'll use this. I feel like he's gonna get molly whopped though. This little cactus man. He's in like the worst position that you can be in. Is there a safe... The safety is... Really just that unit of This unit over here I feel like is the only safe one. I don't know if he can make it there in time. Let's try it. Let's try it. I don't know if that was like the best use of our time. Let's find out. Let's find out. But halfway through this right now, and I'm really digging it. Having my fan is a critic, but not enough reviews for it to get points. Give it time. Give it time. More reviews will come. I'm sure of it. I like it. I like it. I think I feel like it'll review pretty well. I feel like it's definitely like a. Seven to eight vibe. Probably heavier on the eights, I would imagine. It's definitely not like mind blowing so far, but I like it. I think it's very good base. It just needs one more score to review. Yeah, that you're gonna get that. 
you're gonna get that. Um, yeah, this is this was a uh, deep cut for uh, Fantasy Critic, so shout out to that. Okay, let's see. What can I do here? Let's see. I could. So I think so I'm exactly not anywhere where I can hit anybody. This is unfortunate. Okay. Here's the question though, where is the... Everything's like bad though. Can I use this thing? I haven't moved any of the ones from like the guys from back there either. It's been like really rough. I guess here's the best place for him to be. I feel like he's gonna die. Target is poisoned and loses one HP per turn. I can't attack anybody though. Fuck, we're fucked. That's it. We thought the artist was- Yeah, the Dicey Dungeons are this! This is what I, I mentioned this uh, near the top of this section of the stream. That's also how I found out about this game. Like, just through following her. Yeah, I would give it a 7.5 from my place so far. I found it a long time ago perusing uh, during one of the Steam Indie Festivals. Like, Doug tried it. The music is great. The music is nice. How's it feel controller? I like it! I like it. What are you playing on mouse and keyboard? I like the controls uh, on console. I'm playing on Xbox Series X. They're very solid. Okay. So I get a free attack here. I'm, I play real slow though. I've been on this battle for a long time. It's like the third one. Um, what if we did... Here's my thing. How fast, how far can he move? He can move pretty far. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't have been here. Hold on. Hold on. I guess I just moved back somewhere else. Like... I have to move, like, below him to be safe. I mean, I guess. Like, it's a pretty unexciting place to move, but also, I think he's just screwed. Maybe I'll just have- has he attacked anybody yet? I think we just have to- <gasps> He has attacked somebody! Oh no! You know what? Give him his HP back. Maybe we can get these friends up here. Even though they're probably gonna show up like way too late, but I just feel bad. They haven't done anything the whole time. I love the art there, it's really good. I'm using um okay, on game play on game pass. Oh! My brother ha only has an Xbox, so he lets me use his account for PC Game Pass. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a fun one. Definitely, I think, worth checking out. Um... Finally. Can we do... I think the best move would be to move this guy. And then he can attack him. And we only have two of these guys left. And... we can... And finally so. And I think we can just... Yeah, finally! That took a long time. Oh, we did it. Oh, the Boodoo hat! Hold on. I do have the hats. Actually, too, you can wear this underneath the headphones. Hold on. I I can... You lift me up. The Baba Boomer. Is that a play on Baby Boomer? Don't squish the Badoo. 
It's just he's more secure this way. Yeah, the music is nice. The music is good. How is this possible? You're a dumb little freak. You tried all weaponized slimes. Oh, let's just give up already. You'll always be two steps behind me. Like my words, Phoebes, you may have won this time. But the gadget cup will be a whole different story. Snarlton, let's go. We only have some adjustments to make before our grand victory. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can give her uh, top marks for effort, I guess. At least we dealt with that little interruption. Phoebe, I'm all here for standing around basking in our own glory, but we must really get a move on now. All right, all right. Crack the whip collar and let's track down these goblins. Um, does anyone know how long this game is? I'm curious as to what that situation's like. How long to beat Floppy Nights? There's no info on it yet. No, it doesn't. How long to beat says 82 hours. No, it does not. It says nothing. Five hours, maybe six. I think I would like to finish this. I'm gonna go on GG and just log log it for now as a game I'm playing. Okay. Just a guesstimate based on what plays so far. And see, roller champions I don't think we're gonna stick with and Little Witch in the Woods I'm not gonna stick with. Um, but yeah, y'all, uh, this was uh, Floppy Nights. Um, I think I'm gonna pause here and see what's going on with y'all with Fortnite, if we can get some Fortnite on stream to close this out. Just a couple matches, nothing nothing too crazy. Um, where'd I go on my own Discord? I'm going to the box? It's six hours. Oh, also, I forgot to put on the timer for the hat. The Bidoof hat, 15 minutes. Bidoofing it up. Badoo. I guess I'll actually set up... Do I want to set up for Carlos? I guess I do. I'm here. Yay! Okay, cool. I'm gonna switch over. Um, I'm gonna be on PlayStation for that. So it'll be like the end of the best of portion. But then we're gonna do um, just some for fun stuff. So hold on one second. I gotta, I gotta like move over a little bit. I gotta switch out my consoles. Okay. Give me a second. I need to get my story straight. Do, 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 do. The hat has to be visible in all its glory. Um, okay, so I'm gonna hit don't switch and then I want to do the real question is and now I can give this color code look because let's let's do the um, let's See Give me a second. I need to get my store I guess orange is the big color for Fortnite right now. Let me back up on some things. You can hear me typing real quick, but let me do. There we go. Okay, so that we can. Oh, hold on one second, so I can grab this image from here. Here it is. Okay, and then I'm gonna hide this just so you can see me do this. So we'll do. I do feel like Fortnite is definitely like that orange, that orangey color. And we'll also grab the yellow. Purple also feels very Fortnite to me. With the loot llama kind of stuff going on. 
And then, I don't know what other color. It's maybe that blue, sure. Light blue for sure. Okay, I'm thinking, Oh, maybe this orangey color. Let me look at the game also. A little bit. Just on the that's also how I kind of base it. Where is this game? Here is here's the game. Um maybe like that red I feel like the reddish orange should probably be more orange than I have it set. Should this be more on the orange side? It's, it's okay. Here, I'll change it back. But I can do the light blue for the sidebar. Um, something like this. And then... I think the status bar... Oops. And the card could be like the dark purple. I feel like the dark purple is almost too dark because it also like interferes with the um, what is it? Some people's names. We do this like light. Ooh, that's really not good. That's awful. <laughs> I hate that. We're changing that, like, immediately. I think anything, this is... It still has some chroma key problems. I don't know, what, this or purple, which one is less bad? I feel like they both have their own problems. I can maybe make the card light blue and the back purple. That's an option. The sidebar could be purple and the words could be blue. Like the card over here. That's definitely better. That's like less. Yeah. This is this is decent. It's not amazing. I mean the the colors kind of change from Fortnite. I feel like on like the iconography, like what what stands out as like being. This is definitely Fortnite. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. I think. That's pretty good. Sure. I have so much stuff on my desk. It's definitely Friday vibes. Over here. Let me switch over my monitor. And, um... Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, if y'all want to uh, do Fortnite, I'm in Discord doing stuff. Um, so, yeah, I'm there. If y'all are trying to play. It's okay. It's a little McDonald's meets Fortnite in the color scheme, I think, but... Hey! Played words there. Hello, Eddie. Ooh, why can't I hear you? That's not good. I don't know why I can't hear you. <laughs> Let me see. Got a lot of family here, so <laughs> that's fine. Um, yeah. I'm on push to talk. Okay, cool. Can you like talk for one second so I know I can hear you? Hello. Hi. <laughs> I definitely did hear the uh, <laughs> the vibe that you're uh, there. There also there's two of you for some reason. Neans, why is your picture also Eddie's picture? <laughs> okay, so do you want to tell the story or shall I? <laughs> I, I think I you should I probably, will. yeah. Um, <laughs> so Eddie has a bread thread on uh, Twitter. Right. And so part of that picture is bread that he baked and he's like, hey, it almost looks like this is one of the Pokemon. Mm -hmm. uh, does anyone have uh, 
oh, Photoshop. And so I didn't specifically use Photoshop. I just used the editor on like the iOS phone app and turned it into Swinov. And now it is <laughs> our icon. Nice. Yeah, it's cute. It does look a lot like that Pokemon. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, how do I... Am I, like, friends with y'all on PlayStation or on Epic? Yeah. Oh. Oops, I started dancing by accident. <laughs> I sent you an invite. Okay, I'm accepting. There was, like, a lot of commotion here. Um, I don't know if Ash wants to join. She, she's in the lobby, too. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm down for Ash to join. She's, you know, optional if you want to be on the voice chat and stuff or whatever, but... You can invite Ash and see what happens. Okay, so your PlayStation controller was screaming at me. Oh, mine? Oh, sorry. That's no, okay. Um, I left the uh, the in-game chat. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Issue, but I, was I just, I just muted it now, but... It's weird that it's not muted by default. I hate that. I also, I have it muted all the time when I, like, turn on the console, but, like, I guess wow. you have to mute it every single time that you turn it on, yeah. but... Uh, do we want to... Do you want to ping Ash, then, and see if... They're interested in playing? Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, like, I don't mind waiting a little bit. I mean, they can also just decide later. You having fun there, cool. Neans? It is cool that yeah. you're Doctor Strange. <laughs> I am jealous of not being Doctor Strange. If wow, you get Eddie, to even by next you're, week. you're Mr. Ubisoft, uh, even in here, huh? You got, uh, is this the, <laughs> or, or is this just like a Viking skin, or is it Valhalla specifically? It's, it's Avor from Valhalla, and they, okay. they just gave it to me, it was in my locker one day. Was... Oh yeah, you mentioned that, you mentioned that. It's very it's pretty funny. Um, I too fell into my skin. Apparently it's because I played Borderlands 3 pre-release. Yeah. So, oh. sure, like, this is very random, but I don't really play Borderlands like that to have this skin on all the time, but it's the only skin I have that is not the default skin. What's your backbone? Oh, is it fish stick? Yeah. I love fish stick. I, I use him sometimes, especially when, uh, oh, the fish stick back bling when mm -hmm. I wear the sock monkey uh, skin. Nice. I saw someone with a, um, like a cat one. So I want that one. I don't oh. know what the, if that's associated with anything specific, but. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name of that. Is it like a calico? I think a little bit, yeah. Is it an anime cat girl with like a... Nah, it, they're like backpack basically. I don't know if it was even like... I'm not sure if it's part of like their back bling or if it's a skin that has something that looks like... It basically looked like a... I don't know, it was like a cat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have nothing else. It it's did. like if someone had a cat on their back. No, it's not like that. Like they weren't a cat. Okay. <laughs> they had a... That's, that's kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> the Halloween version. <laughs> it's really good. What about this guy? No, it wasn't him. I don't like him. Who is he? I don't like that either. I don't like who everyone just out here is morphing into other, other people. <laughs> the sock monkeys. I'm warming up to the sock monkey now. It's a little less creepy. I don't like play it for its pet cat man. <laughs> his name is Meowsles. Meowsles. That's his name. It's like I had to That's explain to someone who Jonesy was the other day, and I'm like, this is a weird thing to have to explain. <laughs> Like the Fortnite oh, guy, about Gumbo. Jonesy. Yeah, Gumbo's cool. Well, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I'm That's going a lot. Random skins now. Uh, oh, tuna fish. Ooh. <laughs> you got to actually during that season paint him. Like, so I chose the colors for like each part of it, like the belt and the socks and oh, fun. his arms and yeah. It's crazy how many um, art styles they have with the different skins. Yeah, yeah Rick's yeah. in here too. Yeah, yeah I, I remember gonna... that. Uh, no word from Ash, we could probably just start for now. Okay, yeah, sure. Fabio Sparkle made. I'm sure there'll be other times if we don't all get to be together again. So what's up with this horse? 
What am I looking at here? <laughs> this is He's the Bob mascot of a uh, Frosted Flakes, basically, with rainbows. In Fortnite. Everybody get some unicorn flakes. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> yeah, his emote, he takes his hooves off to reveal tiny hands. Hey, what's up, Super Nintendo? Thanks for Thanks hanging for out. That We're here, playing some Fortnite with some friends. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get the, um... I think I'm just gonna go with the Battle Pass for when that comes out next season. Because I'm already at the end of this one. Oh, yeah. But I'm considering getting well, the Fortnite crew, but then I'm like, ah, do I want to like spend like $13 every month for the rest of my life? I don't know if I want to do that. But, I, but it would be nice to get all the V-Bucks though, because I don't have any skins, like at all. Hey, Can't another candy cane man is here. Yeah, there's the devil. It is a nice deal with crew, because when I originally started playing, I'm like, I'm not going to put real money into this. <laughs> Steph, you picked a bad time to have Bruce appear. Oh. <laughs> How many seconds? I have, what, 13 seconds? 12 seconds? I'll uh, text Isaiah and try to get Bruce here. Can you just throw Bruce across the camera? <laughs> I will do it, though. Not that, not that, not that part. Yeah, I wouldn't don't. do that. No. Yeah. I meant I'll, I'll bring Bruce, just not this second. Where do you want to drop? Uh, Y'all pick, because I, I don't really have any preferences at this point. Where would be someplace new she has not been? Ooh, do Ooh. I have streamer mode on so it doesn't play less music? I probably didn't think to do that. I was avoiding emotes that had licensed music. Um, I did try and keep that in mind, but forgot there was a streamer mode. Yeah, I'll... Where can I do that, Super Nintendo? Let me know. I think it's probably in the lobby, I'm guessing. I think it's probably from settings in here. Okay, maybe I'll try to... When I land, I'll look more. Maybe can I even just do that? I see voice chat. I see. No. Oh, here we are. Licensed audio. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Save. There we go. And now where am I? Now I don't know where I am. There I am. We're in Greasy Grove. Oh, someone on the roof? I'm dead. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Eddie's down inside that little house. Yeah, right up. They're on the balcony where I'm at. They're like... Let me see if I can... Okay. And they're on the roof now. There's two of them on the roof. Oh, they just jumped. I'm gonna have to just run inside the house because I don't have any... Um... Guns right now, but I can... I picked up Eddie's card, I though. dropped a weapon. Oh, great. Okay. I'll just walk behind I you, then. A... Oh, there's... Oh, no, no, no. Ah! Ah! <laughs> there's a light I think, machine I think Keanu three. Reeves just shot me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm just gonna have to run for it, cause... Oh shoot. No! I died! Bad. <laughs> well... It's just a rough drop. It's all on you, me. Like <laughs> um, I don't know, do I drop Eddie's car too when I die? No, if you pick up the oh, card, everyone has it. Oh, okay. But also, yeah, you were the last one left alive, so... Oh, I was. Okay, well, we'll just run it back. Yeah, that was just, like, a lot happened at once, and... Maybe we came in at too hot of a time, you know what I mean? Like, Friday night, it's yeah. like, we knew, like, how about Monday afternoon, uh, you know? Like, no one's here. Yeah. <laughs> Can we play at 4 a.m. on Tuesday? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna step away for a second just to get Bruce, but... Okay. I'll be back in, like, 10... Oh, 4 a.m. Isaiah's like, here. Do you want to pick up Bruce and carry her here for a second? Okay. Yay! Hello, Isaiah and Bruce. Yeah. 
I think Isaiah brought the hot dogs too, so that's exciting. Is that a new dog? No, I wish. Well, not really. A dog's a lot of work. <laughs> oh my I gosh, like this is so good. A Bruce appearance and an Isaiah appearance. If you just can walk this way and then just... She just has to be in the frame. I know there's like eight Squishmallows here. Okay, just bring her a little <laughs> bit lower. Yeah, that's Bruce. Look at her. And that's all, half of Isaiah's face. But do you see how calm and happy she is? It's because Isaiah is holding her. <laughs> and she has a new collar. You can hear her little bell. Well, maybe you oh, can't hear her bell because I, I, I have noise cancellation on, but yeah. There you go. Bye, Bruce. I can confirm that I heard the bell. You I also Am heard I the winning? bell. Oh, we just died, like, immediately. <laughs> like, like, we dropped in, and, like, I'm like, I don't have a gun yet. There's eight people here. Eddie's like, I'm dead. I'm like, I have Eddie's card. And I'm like, nope, I don't have any, I don't have anything. But, you know, that was, like, we're just, you know, shaking off the dust a little bit. Are you here in for the day? Also, uh, Neens and Eddie say hi. Hello. 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 Yeah, do you want to jump in? Sure. Sweet. Yeah, just... Ooh. Sit down. Yeah, just a little bit. I want to get a couple of games in at least. Firefly. If there's like, if there, if you bought tots, can you bring the tots here? I know I'm like 12 years old right now, y'all. I have this bidoo fat on. I'm like, <laughs> bring the tater tots and sit down for some Fortnite. You're living your best life. Oh, someone's shooting at me. They're coming from... Oh, they're down on the road. I see them now. I think they might be dipping, though. And I hear a car pulling up behind me. So they're, like, Ooh, down this way. Scanner. On my way? No, I just, I just pinged where they, they're at. If... Okay, good. I'm like, oh my god, who is that? It's just needs. <laughs> I got the recon scanners back. Was it last week or? Oh, oh! I just got hit by car, but it oh, was Oh sweet, Eddie's here in the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I didn't take damage, so it had to have been one of our teammates. Yeah, I'll keep that recon scanner on me so we can uh, mark enemy teams. Yeah, the scanner's pretty nice. Have you discovered the joy of balloons yet? I am mixed on the balloons. I feel like the balloon seems like it'd be better for people that know how to like really rock the levitating, jumping, shooting element. Okay. And, and yeah. I don't really like how it blocks your field of vision a little bit, but I'm open I to trying them again. Way. Um, I think I'm just too excited by the novelty of it that even if it's putting me at a disadvantage, they are like, pretty. I think they're useful. I just feel like I'm not that good at taking advantage of what they offer. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I, I do like them. Yeah, I agree. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I can't jump up here. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. I'm stacking I sound, I sound 12 years old so right now with these tots. <laughs> no, you should have got the cheese, the loaded ones. Good. It's okay. Like, I appreciate the tots. I don't want to be like... about the tots. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Eddie said I'm here complaining about the tots. Well, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, you know, I'm here at work, just... Why didn't you get the chili cheese tots? Ugh. <laughs> yeah, um, I often shout, like, I don't know if y'all watched, um... Wedding Crashers? Um, but, like, in the style of, like, Will Ferrell doing the, Ma, the meatloaf! The like, meat I make that joke all the time, I'm like, Ma, <laughs> put the pizza in the oven! We're hungry! We do want it. Yeah, yeah. Splash if we want to group up. Oh, just... No! Um... Are we cool with destroying the tank? Or are we trying to... 
I think dead. we we yeah, okay. might as well at this point. All right, everyone gather around. Um, Isaiah, and then I even though check. it might m create some weird audio issues, if you want to jump into Discord, that's where we're at. On my, we're in my Discord under Fortnite. If you want to, you know, oh. at least hear people or something, but. One and two. There we go. Oh, thanks. We were trying to wrangle you. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the Discord PlayStation thing, that's going to happen though, right, y'all? Like, wasn't there like a, some integration or something? I don't know. It's, it's a pipe dream. Somebody bought something somewhere. Someone yeah. somewhere bought a thing. That's oh, and then uh, Isaiah, make sure your uh, controller's muted. Because by default, like, it never is. I don't know why. There's a rail gun. This one. Oh, wow. Uh... No, my one weakness someone jumping. <laughs> No! He's running! He's gotta be pretty dinged up. I mean. Oh, someone's on a bus here behind you. Oh, shoot. Here's, oh, yep. There's someone like right behind me. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm downed. Oh, no! I'm just gonna hide behind this wall. Okay, they're down. Okay. There's one more person. Oh, two more I got like 60 you know seconds left, but I'm like by this vending machine. Everything's getting set on fire. Oh no. Whew. Okay, Neans, if you can get nice to me. Job. I'm like right behind you. Yes. Right behind you. Right behind you. I'm by Eddie now. Oh, I see. <laughs> Thanks. A lot of good loot around here. Oh, I'm going to heal. Oh, also... Where are you at? Okay, this is for you, Janet. Oh, thanks. Uh, actually, oh, don't thank use you the shields. Shield. Don't use the shields? Okay, I'm working on the med no, they're mine. Okay. Oh, okay, I have uh, a stack. Here you go. Oh, that's just me. Sorry. <laughs> I was so focused on healing that I just started shooting in the air. There's a blue ranger shotgun. That's pretty good. What else we got? Oh, Storm's coming in. Storm's broke. The storms are coming. <laughs> I'll take this. I'll carry this rift to go for us. Yeah, we're in the storm anyway, the zone, so. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Make sure all your stuff's reloaded, too. Picked up a rail gun. Got some other stuff. I kept uh, the what's up, Gray Fox? Scanner. Forlorn? Oh, this needs to reload. Fortnite, let's go, and then yeah! I have the rift to go if we need it in the future. I just started uh, playing more. I want to start playing more regularly. It's pretty fun. But I'm here with Neens uh, and, and Eddie. From... I really enjoy sliding. I, it's been a really great mechanic. Ooh. Who are like my moderators and they also stream. So yeah, give them a follow and all that stuff. And then uh, I think Isaiah's gonna jump in too in the next game. But yeah, should be fun. How do I like move stuff on my toolbar? Like swap things over? Like change up the order of the stuff? Uh, not sure on PlayStation. I generally just pick something else up and then drop them mm. in different orders. I don't know the actual like efficient way to do it. Um, no, it's fair. Uh, I think it's so up on like, the D-pad and then you can like move the stuff around from there. Oh, I think so too. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, that's the way to do it. Okay, cool. Oh shoot. Is that y'all? Okay. It was a- yeah. yeah.
Oh, hello, yeah. Hope you already died. Oh, what's up, Just? How's it going? I think I'm reading your name right. Hopefully. Yeah, it's going good. Just kind of closing out the night with some Fortnite. I, I started streaming earlier than I normally do on Fridays. And then, what else? What else? Um, I also did a bunch of Fortnite with Kind of Funny. So I'm definitely looking at the end. season ends on uh, that Saturday, June fourth. Just a couple of matches. Uh, then we might be like have a day or two where the game's offline. Oh, I sure where, hope what? Not. <laughs> well, generally, well, maybe not. Maybe that was just for the chapter. Sometimes between big events, they have to like take the servers offline as they like change the map or oh, add yeah. stuff in or things like that. Um, we're just in Discord if you're looking to. Oh, okay. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> How's it going? Hi. Also, um, oh, let me know y'all if me and Isaiah both being here is creating an auditory hell in some way and we can try to adjust some stuff, but... I think it is, at least not for me. Um... Cool. One. That's 86. I expect eight. Is that a Oh, where are you? Oh. On my oh, way. You, you died, yeah. This is car. Oh, I got you. You can just destroy it. Yeah. Better. Done. Come on. Oh, I see him now. Oh, Steph, they got in the car. They're driving away. I'm trying to explode oh, they the car. Got him. Yeah. Are they dead? Uh, I uh, think I don't, so. Yeah, uh, yeah Neen's knocked him out. Okay. There's a uh, van just east of y'all. Did uh, we grab Eddie's yeah. reboot card already? I, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, yes. Thinking, do you have any sort of med kits or anything on you, Janet? No. Oh, but there's some band-aids right here in a yeah, med kit right here. Yeah, I was trying to think here. of what to... Uh, do you want to carry med kits or a... Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll grab uh, the med kit and the bandages. Oh, here's someone. They went inside the temple. Oh snap, they came back out! Okay. No! Playing mind games with you. Yeah, are you in or out? What's Found going him. on? Oh, eliminated. Okay. Oh. Oh. What is that? Oh, I kind of see them. I'm gonna run to the van. Ah, uh, getting shot at. Not a fan of this, not a fan of this. Oh, here's someone over here. Hold on. So many people. Okay, and everything had to be reloaded. There we go. And you that's out of ammo. Battle pass? Yeah, I do. Yeah, this uh, season's almost over. Person's down. Out of Brady six. Should we just leave these temple people alone? Yeah, we yeah. can leave them in the meantime. Means just fighting to another pair. I might have to. Here we go. I used our rift to go. I'm gonna. Ugh. Let's see. Can we let? Let's maybe run to the. Wait, who marked that? Did you mark that, Eddie? Or yeah. Did... Oh, I didn't know you could mark stuff. Well. <laughs> oh, I'm being shot at while I'm in the sky. So uh, I. There's another the... van up up ahead, Jin. I don't. Um, okay, no. Yeah. He's like, I'll bring you back. Big fan. Ooh. You're the best. Oh, thanks for the bits, Winston. This works. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I have five health, and I saw someone with a recon scanner, and then... Oh, someone's coming up behind me, but you're close. I'm gonna... 
try and oh I did throw. Oh no. <laughs> no. Channing with that goofy backpack. <laughs> I, I love the fish stick backpack. I gotta get needs this card. If you my card will be up for a while. Oh, I'm seeing people here yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, God, because I'm right by that thing. Ooh, you got a thermal. Yeah, but I'm not good. One. Gold thermal. Oh shoot! No! No, they're good at the game. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. My one really weakness: good. skilled players. I'm getting shot. <laughs> Back to the lobby. Who do I want to be this time? There's also a character that kind of looks like me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Janet, is that is that Avor? Mm hmm It's Eddie, Mr. Ubisoft. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Bonjour. Uh, Janet, I guess could you invite me? Oh, I didn't mean to. Sure. Say, nope, didn't mean to do that either. Here we go. <laughs> All right, That's you're invited. Cool. Might have to go with one of my all time favorites, though. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the monkey. <laughs> hmm. Oh, the monkey's great. Love the soft monkey. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> it's got these big dead eyes. It's a little scary that it's all like in. You can tell it's been restitched together, which is kind of uh, upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. Um, Super Nintendo in my chat said, I suggest one person play on the Switch so that you'll be matched with a lot more bots. <laughs> what are you trying to say here with that suggestion, <laughs> Super Nintendo? Look, six is very yeah. admirable, okay? <laughs> and, like, imagine if one of us who was good was there. We could have taken it the whole way. <laughs> Rapid Avoy is uh, not something <laughs> I think I would have ever seen. <laughs> She'll send you to Valhalla. Okay. Yeah, it's one of those things uh, many like faced that. where it's one of those things where like um, Isaiah's in the same room so it picks up his mic whenever I talk almost Oh yeah, sorry Can you actually hockey muting yourself when you're not talking? Like you? I don't know if you can hockey that for yourself Yeah, that'd, that'd be helpful. Thanks. Yeah, it's not the most uh, optimal setup I have over oh, here. I haven't showed them yet. Okay, my recent emo that I got, it's a dinosaur. Oh my god. <laughs> That's really cute. And so two things with this. A, it was my favorite dinosaur when I was in kindergarten. And B, I thought it was pronounced Diplodocus because that's what five-year-old me thought. And apparently it's a Diplodocus. Oh, cute. <laughs> what a dumb child. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, the bomb, Daddy. I was five. <laughs> I mean, we're all smarter than we were as five-year-olds. I think we can admit that. <laughs> Well, I mean, I still thought it was <laughs> until I looked up the pronunciation. That's okay. That's because nobody... You didn't, you didn't say it out loud near anybody. That's true. <laughs> I forgot how to dance. 
Things down or left on the D-pad? Down on the yeah. Were you able to find yeah. Steamer mode? Yeah. Yeah, I was able to find it. Oh. Okay, cool. It just I turned off license wanna... music. Like, they didn't label it like streamer mode, but... I didn't want to accidentally hit one that had music on it. <laughs> Thank you for dancing with me, Eddie. Yeah, it's, you know, no problem. <laughs> Nobody else would do it, so... I was running around dunking on Wait, people, literally. Sorry. Where are we going? <laughs> Um, Logic. <laughs> Here? Oh, sleepy. Sure! I know how much you hate sleepy sound, Janet, but... Why, did I, like, die there before? I don't know where anywhere is, so... <laughs> no, I was just kidding. Check out this little beach house here. Oh, that's my beach house. <laughs> oh, that's actually a restaurant, sorry. Oh, you have the seafood place that's themed after it's called Sticks, and then there's a character called Fish Sticks, so it's kind of conflicting. Cannibalism. Are you getting shot at? Yeah, someone just started shooting at me. But I don't have a gun, so that's not gonna turn out well. Here, come inside. It's the Mickey Mouse Club, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm inside somewhere, but I don't think it's where I was supposed to go. Uh, play it forward. He's like above you. He's coming down the stairs behind you. Ish. What did you call me? Play it forward. Okay, sir. I'm down. Am I not allowed to call you play it forward? No, oh, you know me. Shot at. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. But I I read play it forward, so unless you want me to have to think before I talk. <laughs> He's like, please I mean, don't that's just use generally my a good practice anyway. Don't use my non government name on the internet. <laughs> yeah, right. Only use my legal full name, please, thank you. Did you ever get a gun, Janet? I just found one now. But it's not very good. I have a shield cake for everybody, so... You don't need to oh, use your shield items, Nina. I already did. <laughs> no, I could use shield. I'll head over there. Does anyone else want this shield thing? What, yeah, what's going yeah, on? What am I looking at here? Oh, I see it's here with me. And the is this the kitchen of the restaurant? Mmm, it's sweet, sweet, delicious. <laughs> the delicious gangnam the, style. The claw berries? Oh. Everyone run through the sprinkler. Yay. <laughs> that would be cool if they had, like, sprinklers set up. Maybe they'll do that with this update, and then there could be, like, a water park or something. I would love that. Whoa, what is this? Oh, bounty board. Oh. 
So we're going after this person now? Is that how that works? Kind of, yeah. yeah. And so they're in whatever the yellow zone is on the map. But it can move when they move. Just like that? Yeah, it gives you their general uh, location, and as the time runs out, it like narrows it down. But if another player kills them, you still get some credit for it, so... Who's that? Oh. Stupid. McLawn mower. technically a limit on the recon scanner, but it never seems to run out when I use it, which is nice. There's two shots and it recharges, takes 15 seconds. Oh, that's what they meant by the two. I thought it was... okay. Meta mist? That's pretty cool. Yeah, you yeah. can remove while you're spraying yourself uh, or somebody else and it heals you. Ooh, I'll take that instead of bandages. Oh, yeah, Isaiah. Bandages are the worst uh, healing item. You know what I think you could do? I think you can, like, deafen me on Discord or something where, like, you don't hear me or talk. Janet's trying to isolate you from the world. <laughs> I just, I just want to, I want to be free of the echo. <laughs> oh, is it that bad? Yeah, no, everyone hears an echo, but now it's gone because you, you, you deafened me. No, don't be quiet. Because I want to, I want to feel like I can talk, and I Wait. like, I didn't want to have to. She wants to openly communicate. Do extra stuff. <laughs> it's fine. One day, me and Isaiah will have our own Fortnite studio where we won't have to worry about these problems. <laughs> And if you need to take out a wall, you can just pickaxe it a little bit. <laughs> oh, somebody killed our bounty. Oh, we can pick up another one. There's a bounty board right here. You just can't have more than one running at the same time. really fast in the car. <laughs> yeah, this one's good for off-road. Oh. oh, no. I got down next to someone, their friend. No, they're coming to finish the job. Can they pinged me? Oh, I feel oh. like that's unnecessary. I'm literally crawling. <laughs> In my skin. Oh, 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 wow. This person still couldn't kill me. That's so sad. <laughs> okay, now I'm dead. Almost to your card. Okay, push stick saw me, but. Ooh, oh, uh oh, Oh, uh-oh. Avenge me! 
Is this the you? Oh, it's you driving. Okay. I was so confused. Uh, Did jump off. It's about to blow up. I don't think it. Oh. I don't know if anyone picked up my card. Oh no, we gotta get it. Um, oh, it's, it's like in. Oh gosh, where is it at? It's not too far from that car. Yeah, it's right here. It's marked. Yeah. There we go. And then reboot fans over here. Oh, uh, we gotta move though. Do you think of all three? Oh, hold on, I'm getting shot at. Uh. No, just leave. I think we, me. I think we need to. Yeah, I think we need to go somewhere else to get her. Uh, thanks for the follow, Dupont. And hey, Crater Gaming, what's good? I died. Oh, I'm going to hit. Getting shot at from someone behind. Careful, Neens. Might be a bot or an NPC, I mean. Oh, crap. I fell down. <laughs> oh. Oh, cereal spoon. Yeah, that's also from the, the unicorn with the, the cereal. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm dead. Oh, hold on. Did we get your card? Yeah, we did. Yes. I got his, yeah. You know what? I don't, I don't think that one has heels in it. A two choke flash. Oh. Yeah, there's someone. Wait, ah. where's the thing? It's uh, in that crater. Oh. Should I do it still? Yep. Uh, well, that was all the heals I had on me. Oh, someone's trying to blow you up. Yeah. Yeah. You ah. died trying to save me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're in this tank right here. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Seventh place, not bad. It was, it was a lot. <laughs> um, maybe I will back out and join you guys uh, some other time. How oh, come? No. Why? Why? Oh. Well, the audio's like messing up, right? No, it's fine now. No, it's fine now. Like I said all you have to do is just deafen me because I was I was coming up on your mic, but you weren't coming up on mine. I don't know. Um, I don't know how to. I don't think I can do that. I don't know what you mean. Oh, maybe I don't know. It. it I don't have the problem anymore. So something oh, was fixed. Okay. All right. Hmm. I think I'll just do. Um. Oh, there it is again. <laughs> Here. What if I? Maybe I'm too loud. Gain. Let's see now. Yeah. Maybe. I think I'm only gonna do like maybe one more for on stream and then play a few off stream. Not that it's that different, like I'm just, it's the same difference, but. You can really let loose when you get shot. Oh yeah. <laughs> we all know how you can be. <laughs> well, what's funny is we, uh, we did this the other day, but we were on our phones and we didn't have any like double links. I don't know. It just seems like it's gone now, so that's cool. Yeah, where do y'all wanna drop? Tony Crossroads, if no one else has other. Yeah, yeah, sure. 
I still don't know where anything is. Like, if you ask me, like, name a place, I'm like, I got nothing for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think Twisted Towers? Twisty Tilted something, right? Tilted. Tilted, yeah. Tilted, Tilted Towers. That's like, that's the, a thing. Uh, hardcore people drop since it's right in the middle. We are not alone here. No, that was... No. Did you see I was about to land there and then... Nah, they dropped a bunch of stuff, right? Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Here's some more and I can put inside this one. Oh my god! Oh, it's just Eddie! <laughs> oh, here's someone. Oh, yeah, there's someone in front of... By uh, the reboot van? Okay, yeah, yeah. Someone else over here. Okay. Got them. Oops. Oh, the IO got angry. Question mark. Okay, they're gone. Oh, it was a seven. Sorry, Jan, I didn't realize. I was no, here. it's okay. I got in here because everyone was scary. <laughs> I just got into the car. Oh! Oh! What was that? Oh, okay, that's no, it's okay. It was me. It was okay. me. <laughs> yeah, you don't take damage if it's, uh, teammates. That's nice. Yeah. What's with these, like, birds and stuff that have, like, auras? Oh, that means they're carrying, like, that level rarity of weapon. So you should oh. shoot them. Or run over them. Cool. Actually, if they're purple or gold, which I think are the main ones. I don't think there's a ton of blue or green. I guess I do love when issues randomly fix themselves. Ba -ba. Well, we won. We won Coney Crossroads. Yeah. Oh, uh, up on the D-pad, and then you just kind of interact with it. Yes, to switch things around. Some gunfire into the. Uh, no. Ooh, I Yay. Wow, good job, everybody. There's some. Uh, <laughs> I see you're just run running and die. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
couple more recon scanners. Oh, someone's yeah. got a uh, oh, rail gun. Oh, you find someone, I said? Oh, did I hit them? Got him. Somebody was attacking oh, nice. me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God. Someone just... Oh, was that Eddie? Yeah, that was me. That's okay, <laughs> okay. I think it follows the same rules where there's no friendly fire if you're in the car. We won Pony Crossroads again. <laughs> oh my goodness. No. <laughs> there was a car to take. <laughs> Just ran into Luck. <laughs> I feel like you know this is me at this point. You don't need to keep <laughs> Oh no, yeah. That, that, <laughs> everything after the first shot was intentional. <laughs> Have two chug splash if we'd like to gather around. Sure, uh, let me see. Okay, yep. so do you have a repair torch? Uh, not on me, but there's some different loot around. Okay, oh, here we are one and two. Thanks. Oh. oh, Jenny, come here. Sure, with your busted car. Sorry. Okay. Oh, you found one. Thanks. That's good as new. Ooh, some airstrikes. Oh, God. Oh. wheels. They're better for off road. And I can just bounce off uh, wherever you want. Oh, There's a big shield there for you, Jenny. Oh, someone's here on the hill. Oh, yep, yep, yep. They're coming down. Oh, there's a couple people. There's three of them. I hit a couple of them. I keep running them over, so they're definitely taking damage. They're okay, trying to destroy my car. One oh, shoot. I exploded. Oh, no. oh, God. I had to run away because everything was on fire. No worries, no worries. Uh, Is anybody left? Where at? Uh, I just kind yeah, of where up up here fire, on the follow the fire. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Spectrum Knight was eliminated, and then that person down over there, so I think that's all three? No, there's one here. Oh. Ah. That's right. Oh, so they're like really running for it, though. Yay! Go team. We should probably just dip, though, right? Because of the... Uh, we're pretty close to the next uh, thing, so we're okay. Railgun, if anyone wants it, and uh, I need missile ammo if anyone has any. I have six rockets for you. Check. I have none. I'm not really sure how to find out what I have. Uh, if you push A on the thing, it shows your ammo counts. Okay. Wait, really? Um, I ignore these random emotes. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I do not have. I have some rockets, but those are different than yeah, missiles. Those are, yeah, oh, no, no, these are the ones. Yeah. You want these miss these rockets, Isaiah? Still? Uh, I think I'm good though. Okay. Yeah, you can hold twelve, I think, Max. Up. 
splash. Splish splash. Splish splash. I was taking a bath. Do, 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 do. See, we don't need any license music. You just need like you just need like the slightest provocation. You just start singing yeah. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but you admit that you provoked me, right? Just to be Absolutely. clear. Absolutely. I was provoked. But you went you went whole hog. Hearing gunshots to the north. Oh yeah. Somebody's fighting an NPC. Oh, and then we gotta watch out over there because there's the uh, clones, I think. Well, as well as right there. Do we just have to kill the NPCs at this point? Which part? Better run. Yeah. I mean, I fit this car if anyone wants to get in. Eddie, how are you getting in here? Are you in there? Are you in there? Are you in there? Are you just, that you stick in your head out the window? <laughs> oh. oh. Hurry up if you want McDonald's. <laughs> oh no. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> right? All right, this is kind of maybe I'm just gonna get out because it's, uh, it's a little smoky. The NPCs are sh shooting yeah. somebody up north. Oh gosh! They recently added Subway as an option to DoorDash in town. Nice. Which doesn't sound exciting, but there are very limited options in my town. I <laughs> so it's exciting every time they I add I realized that one. when you were... <laughs> like, this is the notable news of the week. <laughs> it's slim pickings, but yeah. Purple auto shock in there for someone who needs it. For a loving home. <laughs> uh, I see someone running to the southwest. Oh, airstrike. Oh, I don't know how that happened, but... Uh, okay, they got downed. Thank you. Uh oh. Oh, behind us, up here. Up here. Yeah, yeah, we see it. Oh, oh trying geez. to get out of the way. That's not good. You know, I'm gonna have to take you somewhere else. <laughs> How do I throw you down? Uh oh, watch. Oh, shoot, Someone, someone's pinging me. Then I have okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Just stand still, Isaiah. Okay, then we can all... Thank you. There's like a bunch coming from that little corner. There's someone's doing an air shot. Oh, I didn't mean to... Oh, does anyone need shields? Uh, uh shield, use... yeah. Okay. Just gonna throw this keg down then. Thank you.
Oh shoot. Yeah, I got the yeah, like the recon and stuff. Repair torch if we need anything, and then There's a lot of people in that whole like little tower. There's like four. Yeah. Oh, I need to. Oh, whoa! I that didn't realize I was just really out in the open. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm like, I'm sorry. I thought I was behind a rock. Like, I didn't know people could see me. Oh, oh! I God. shot the rock. I I'm nothing without this rock. If I'm being really honest. Some juice. Uh, if y'all meet over here in this building, I have another chug, uh, cake for us to heal. If well, I got sort of in that spot. It's okay. We may need to, yeah, leave me. No! What happened? Wait, are you, are you just right here? I slid down the hill, but then a bunch of them saw me and started shooting at me. No! Which direction are they in again? Oh, yeah, that direction. <laughs> Fuck, I'm down. No one else is home, right? I say, why is Bruce crying? I hear Bruce crying outside the door. Oh, shit. No. Thank oh. you. Oh. Oh, no. No, I'm too slow. It's right here. No! I fell. I'm downed. No. Alright. He's right here. He closed the door, but he's here. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh no, what happened? <laughs> oh, I just didn't make it. Yeah, you like disintegrated. Oh. <laughs> Damn. That was a really good effort. Yeah, really three's good. really good. Huh. <laughs> oh, I just gave them a heal. y'all on the stream side of things. I'll probably play a couple of matches just offline, oh, like off of stream. We're turning to lobby. I guess so. Um, I'm gonna play another match. I don't know. Isaiah, are you done? No, I'm gonna drop out, yeah. No. Thank you, though. This is fun. I will play next time. I'm gonna play some, like, at least, like, one or two more with you guys, and then I'll probably head out. But Isaiah, next time is right now. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're not doing anything. We live in the same apartment. <laughs> I see you. I see you sitting there. You're not even just Come on. Here, you're fresh. We have to go back to lobby. I knew to switch it to trios if he's not gonna. Okay. Uh, so I can do I can cancel then? Yeah, yeah. Just go to okay. lobby. Oh. Goodbye, Isaiah. Um. All right. Cool. On the stream side of things, I was just saying I'm gonna gonna wrap up and then do a couple of matches offline. Uh. But it's been fun. I'm gonna try to keep it short because I'm. Still on this game. Um, let's see. For raid stuff, I think. Why did it make me the leader? It's to see something in you that you don't see in yourself, okay. you know? Yeah. Okay. You have untapped potential. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so on the stream side of things, uh, let me go ahead and uh, give a shout out to. <laughs> 
some folks over on uh, Patreon. You can join over on Patreon at um, as low as a dollar all the way up to $25, like my sponsors. Um, it's funny because I can see Nancy's character still dancing on the other side. Biscuits to Davey, Black Clumberjack, Edwin Garcia, Jesse Clark, Kevin Fair, Margarita Castillo, Mick, aka the Nanobiologist, Nina McKee. Uh, Platform Fanatic Play, Jason Ranton and Spencer Icassiano. Thank y'all so much for supporting at that $25 tier. Uh, for raids, let's head over to uh, T-Roy Jenkins, who's doing some Mario Kart 8. And again, I'll be live here again tomorrow, 3 p.m. PT for um, Yakuza Like a Dragon. So again, let's queue up for that raid. Uh, appreciate y'all sticking through for the raid. You get extra channel points to use on my stream, and you also can send some love to another streamer and community member. Uh, so go stick around for that. And until next time, uh, Actually, and as always, I'll see y'all here next time. Bye.